New game standard. Ash, the armor is an A rank on hardcore. Let's see. Alright, so we're doing RE4 remake. New game, no merchant. So the rules are simple. I am not allowed to go into the merchant ever. That's it. Other than that, beat the game. Yo, next to the two bucks, the win. How do you get infinite ammo? I don't think you can. We're playing on the standard difficulty. I've never played on the standard difficulty. This should be interesting. Wow. Can you um, kill the merchant? Unfortunately not. You ever use the filters? I might in the future, but maybe not. No merchant, aka bloom percent. Yes, exactly. So that means that I'm only going to be able to get the starter pistol, the shotgun, the assault rifle, and that's it. Oh, the red nine. Yeah, that's right. I can get the red nine. And we're already reloading a checkpoint. There is an item that is awarded a uh, new game professional plus that lets you have infinite ammo. I see. That's cool. At least you can actually load checkpoints. Yeah, so we get the we can get the red nine too, which is nice. But no stock. There we go. The free TMP from the demo work in full game? I don't believe so. We can get the scope. Oh yeah, and the MP5. That's right. You can actually get quite a few weapons in no merchant this game. You don't get any scopes other than the anti-regenerator one in No Merchant? Yeah, so we'll still be able to skip Wrecking Ball. The big thing is I won't be able to repair my knife. So I gotta be really careful about when I use it. Got no increase in inventory attached case either. You're only here for the kitty cam? All good. That's fine. Me too. Oh, did the cat ears give you unlimited ammo? That sucks. They did that in two make, right? I wanted to wear the cat ears without the unlimited ammo. Wow. Um, thank you. It's the best setup for 100%. I mean, it's going to be subjective, but I was personally a big fan of uh, the default pistol and the stingray and the riot gun. The villain outfit, villain outfit really fits this uh, gas mask, honestly. I wish that you could see Leon's hair in the back, though. Okay, so like I don't really want to stealth kill with the knife here because I feel like it's just a waste of durability. Like, I will not be able to repair this knife for the entire game. So like, where do I want to use the knife at? The gas mask gives aim assist. Actually? Does it really? Wow. Um, thank you. Yeah, yeah, well, thanks for the two bucks. Yeah, I gotta, so I'm gonna have to use a bunch of kitchen knives and stuff. You can shoot the bell and skip this part, yeah, but you have to have a sniper rifle to do it. 
Look at it in the pod menu. Uh, actions. Aim assist can be used regardless of game difficulty. Can be used. But not required, I would hope. How do you check? Controls. Aim assist off. I'm assuming you wouldn't be able to turn this on unless... Yeah, okay, that's fine then. Thank God it's an option to turn off. It is actually impossible to do the bell skip with that sniper or is it just hard? Uh, it's impossible. It's been tested a lot. Well, this is standard, but and it's off. Holy shit, dude! Imagine enemies actually being kickable on one on one bullet. That's wild. What is this? Are you for? That's not always, but like pretty consistently. And I'm dead. Awesome. Not the feathers! Dead. What difficulty? Standard. I haven't played standard yet, so this would be fun. My favorite death animation so far? Hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. Literally, I, I shit you not, the hardest enemy in the whole game. The final boss on pro is not as hard as a single Ganado with no weapon. I shit you not. Honestly, I don't even want to waste a grenade. Not that they're at all useful. They're kind of ass, not gonna lie. Well, I guess if I really want to min max, I should just not even kill anybody and just run around. But that doesn't seem that fun. It'd be way easier on this difficulty. Novies are a joke, you're so sad. But you wanted Novies to be cancer again? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Grenades are cloud crowd control devices that don't control crowds, so yeah. Do you disappear after bingo if I trigger you now? Hopefully. That dude's annoying as hell. That dude is so lame when he's fucking showing up. After the fucking fact, he's late to the party.
Oh, he made it up. No grabbing. He said, move, bitch, he's mine. Yeah, that's metal as fuck. He just killed like five people. Yeah, you can do the Gorgon Truck controllers. It's hard. Dude. Friendly fire. I wonder if I can kill all 15 enemies with just the friendly fire from this fucking Salvador. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. La Campana! Dude, they're so easy on standard. La Campana! I've been told that there is a setting you can enable that automatically disables the radio calls. Has anyone found that yet? <laughs> the show is so boring. It's really fun if you actually try to kill stuff. If you just run around, yeah, it's gonna be boring. Oreo doing a snooze, yeah, she's vibing. You can shoot the bell and end faster that part? Yeah, you have to use a sniper. New game, don't have a sniper. Really cool though. Is it in the accessibility menu? No. Oh. No? What's the name of the new enemy who replaced JJ? Utters. We call him Utters here. I don't know what his actual name is. Yo, oh, glad to hear, Brandon. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Food. So if I want to S plus on standard, what do I have to do, chat? <laughs> Utters with two Ds. Beat the game in under five hours. Is there a save restriction or no? No. Okay. Cool. That should be. Pretty doable. No merchant, I think.
Rome is the only one with a save restriction? You got to. Okay, we have a kitchen knife now, which is good. Otters, calm down. Relax, Otters. Bro, chill. I thought the kick would give me iframes to the evade. I was wrong, I guess. Aye, my asshole. I kill others? Yeah, I guess you're right. There's really no point, huh? What do you get if you beat it with no merchant? Internet clout. I guess there really is no point in killing others if uh, I'm not using the merchant. You can disable the trip wire? Yep, you can. In fact, I've seen a clip of someone clipping out of bounds by disabling one of those. They did it on accident. Kind of funny. For the money? Oh, wait, yeah. So I guess there's really no point. He died out of bounds on Sadler. Really? <laughs> what the fuck? That's a 9 5. 9 to 5 county. Yeah, I guess like. Salvador and others both just give you money when you kill them, right? So it's just a waste of resources to kill them. Ouch. Did you take no damage? On oh, Sander, holy shit. Heard to pro, it's wild. I don't know, a bunch of the speedrunners are like afraid to route pro. They're saying it's like it's too hard and too random. But they're running standard. But like, honestly, I don't know. I'm definitely gonna route pro. We'll see how that goes. I mean, like, standard just seems way too easy. Waste of resources to fight Verdugo. Yeah. The gas mask gives you aim assist on every difficulty, but it's by default off and you can just leave it off. Oh. Is there a DA? Yeah, there's a DA. Unfortunately. What can we expect speedrun? Well, right now the plan is I just finished my first pro playthrough. Now I'm doing no merchant standard. After this, uh, knife only assisted. After knife only assisted, then we'll start running the game pro. That knife only wasn't possible? It's not. You're right. 
We're gonna do the the content meme where I do knife only, but I use not I use stuff that's not the knife like a lot because game can't be knife only. I was thinking I'm gonna try to do knife only, like knife and, and grenades only. I think all the spots where you have to shoot, you could potentially get away with using a grenade instead. That way you never shoot the pistol. Hey Grim. Is that outfit? Is the villain with the hunk mask? Run to David Bowie. Sander seems so easy. Yeah, after playing hardcore and pro exclusively, it definitely is very easy. Which is why I kind of want to run a new game pro, because it seems pretty mellow. Not using the merchant. Goodbye, sir. I actually do want to stockpile that ammo though. Because we're gonna get the free rifle later. Or nice. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like if you're playing knife only on assisted, like at this point, you wouldn't have killed anything. So you would just this is you'd have like five knives right now. Like the only things that you have to kill are bosses, like uh, Cabin, you could probably just have Utters kill everyone for you. No, you can't kill the merchant, fortunately. Doesn't let you. I know, the remix terrible, SMH. Dang, I can't craft flashes. I just realized that sucks. Crafting flashes is like a thing that you have to buy from the merchant. Does Utter spawn on a timer in cabin? I have no idea. Presumably? I would hope so. Yeah, my standard of this game is fucking easy. I eat my asshole. Hey, wife. It's spicy. Oh, I was supposed to pull the crank. That's right. How can I pull them? Damn, there's a lot of enemies. Can I pull them all down here? 
Posh King gonna be huge for gallery. For sure. Oh, he just missed. XD. XD! Can you not get grabbed while cranking that on standard? I want my knife, sir. I'm not gonna use my knife on you. XD. Oh, I gotta be quicker than that. Hey, Kriva. There's no free rocket in the castle? There is not, no. Is it gonna make this into a separate video as well? Oh, yes, yeah. So the, the the actual run itself will be on YouTube, like, and then I'll also make a highlight video out of this one. Assuming, like, enough stuff even happens to justify it. It might be too easy, we might have to go to hardcore, to be honest, but... We'll see. I actually wanted that handgun ammo, but I missed the pickup, so... That's a bear trap. Ow! That hurt. I should equip the kitchen knives so I can use them and not have to worry. Especially if I get chainsawed. Most of the gameplay loop for me so far has been collecting treasures. So you're not using the merchant, you're gonna change the way I play a lot. Because I'm not using treasures. Step on a bear trap or nothing. Crops, piggy, bait. Thank God that's the same every time. Where'd you come from, grabber? What's up, Karmara Dolls? I need to watch a lot of your videos. First time hearing your stream, wanted to ask you something. What version of RE4 do you prefer and why? I prefer the OG because the gameplay mechanics are much more responsive. But. I think that this game is way more accessible. Probably is the overall better version, but just the extra responsiveness on the gameplay mechanics and shit just feels so good in the OG. Like no bloom, no RNG on your bullets, you know, movement doesn't feel bad.
Yeah, the remake's better for a wider audience, but I'd, I'd prefer the original. Exactly, that's how I feel too. You still get the free broken butterfly in the castle? No. Ow. But you can get a free uh, assault rifle in the castle. A free sniper rifle, basically. You also get the red nine for free. So I know merchant, you can get the red nine, the assault rifle, the pistol and the shotgun. Also the MP5 for generators. Yeah, LE, LE5. Yeah, you get a lot more free stuff, but no free rocket, no free broken butterfly. Give me, sir. What's in here? I think all of the small keys are treasures, right? So it wouldn't be useful to use any of them on on this stuff. No, Mercy is pretty fun. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I think for standard it should be fine. On like pro and hardcore, it might be kind of CBT. I don't know. I think that No Mercy might be the only way that's Standard is fun though. I don't know, like, a lot of people were routing standard because they said that like, they could be too cancer on pro. But, I don't know, having played pro for my last two playthroughs basically, it's, it's not that bad. And going back to standard after that is like trivially easy. You just run past everything. I tried the deluxe weapons yet? Nah. I have not. New Game Plus will be interesting because it'll be a lot faster because of the skips. Like, you don't even take damage in standard. Like, oh no, there's dogs. Oh no, the dogs stopped chasing me. Like, I, what, oh, I got hit. There's one second gone. You take like no damage, so you get so many heals. Well, new game plus is fast because you get the sniper rifle, so you can skip the village. You can do a whole bunch of crazy shit. Okay, now I need to remember what I actually do at this part of the game. I go this way. I gotta go get the fuel to go kill Delago. Oh, there's no trucks in this one. I don't even need to shoot this guy. I can just run past, actually.
Just run past everything. Resident Evil speedrun would be like. Oopsies, forgot about that. I think I have a bajillion heals. Excuse me, fat ass. Let me out, thank you. And I only have one heal, but I had like four when I came into this room. Maybe I should redo the room just to keep my heals. That should be fine. I went the wrong way. <laughs> they just miss. Homies, AFK. The villager is AFK on standard. <laughs> yeah, knifing the barrels does not use durability. How did that not? Why is this like 10 times harder to hit this fucking fish in the remake? I don't think you can hit the fish if he's underwater. Like in the original, if he's like just below water, you can hit him. But I don't think you can hit him below water in this game. I'm gonna come out of the water so I can actually hit you. Like half of these harpoons are missing. Let, just come out of the water so I can fucking hit you, dude. Bruh. The Lago, please. I think the Lago for the speedrun might actually be worse than the remake than the original. I don't understand the harpoon. It's like the longer you hold the right click, the further you throw it. But like that causes stuff to get all messed up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Like the longer you hold the harpoon, the further you throw it. I just, I hate that. I want to just throw the harpoon the same distance every time. 
I'll aim higher if I want to throw further. Bro, oh, just get out of the water so I can fucking hit you. I wonder if they do more damage if you hold them for longer. Bro! Let's stay out of the water so I can hit you for one second. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Oreo's gone. Oh my god, home. Depot run. How many hits is that Delago? I don't know, like 20 or some shit? Delago takes forever. So I need to get the two heads. All right. The one head's in this tunnel. Do that one first, it's closer. I don't need to go here. This way. Yeah, I've seen the striker charm. Hey, Dow girl. Welcome. Have fun saying lewd things. Hey, my asshole. I don't know about standard for speedruns. It seems too easy. You just run past enemies and just not hit you. Oh, double himself. That's fun. So it's the booty cheeks, this one, and this one. Yep. Hardcore maybe then? We'll see how Gigante goes. I don't know, when I do runs, I'm just gonna route pro, I think. Yo, waifu bro, I've been a fan of you since your Pornhub days. Yo, thanks. That only the true OGs were there for that. Smiley face.
You can dump both of the Gigantes in the lava in the double Gigante fight? Oh, really? I had no idea. I've actually not managed to dump any of them in the double Gigante fight. I always accidentally kill them before I could dump them, even on pro. Straight across, all right, yeah. Why are the Novi's so cringe? Nah, they're, they're mellow now. I like Novi's a lot. I haven't tried running past them though, so they might be cringe when you try to run past. If you kill them normally, it's fine. <laughs> and this one is... Spermies. This one. Oops. Oh, I remembered this one. Let's go. Speed, aggression. They have 30 FPS? That's rough. That's rough. A difficulty? Standard. I go back to the merchant. I wonder if PB runs one day will require you to get the striker charm or reset. I mean, in theory, maybe like the first merchant you could go and then do one. I don't know. Like in new game runs, you would have to like go play the run all the way to the first merchant that has to this merchant. Go downstairs, do one mini game, ace it on the first try, then roll a striker on the very first try. That's the only way it would be faster. Even then, like, it would lose so much time to go do that that I doubt you would make up the time save. But now I need to go get the key. Trolling. I don't go here, right? I go... Wait, where do I go now? This is I always get lost here. I go to the boathouse. Like, there's no way, right, that you would be able to do that. But like in a new game run, no shot. New game plus, yeah, like if you want a good new game plus run, you'll have to have the striker charm, but. But yeah, in new game, there's no way that like it would be so unlikely that you could do that and it would take so much time to set it up that I don't even think, I mean, yeah, no, it wouldn't be worth it because the run's already like lower than two hours, I think, so. 8% increase in movement speed. Most of that runtime's not going to be running. A lot of it's going to be combat. This is crazy. It's impossible without the merchant. I don't know. It's been pretty fucking easy so far. Uh... Now I go back to the person. Right. To towards Gigante. Can I get out? They get crazy later. Yeah, it'll get harder the further we get in the game. But we also like, you know, you're gonna get the assault rifle and shit. That's the boat direction. Oh, I forgot the red nine. That's right. Thank you. How much of my OG knowledge is helping me with the remake? Definitely quite a bit. I forgot to grab the red nine. See? I'm going the wrong way. This is the long way, but whatever. I don't want to turn the boat around. And yeah, the red nine, useful on this run. Now, the dimming glitch is not in the game, but there is the striker charm that you can get. Gives you an increased movement speed. But like, for new game runs, it's not useful at all. Because it would be so... So unlikely that you'd get it in the amount of time that 
it would actually save time. I could, it definitely wouldn't save time. Even, even if you got a first try on the very first version, I don't think it would save time. To be honest. Do I just discard the OG pistol now? For inventory space or what? I feel like I should just discard the OG pistol for it. Can't upgrade anything. You could store it. I could. I feel like I shouldn't be allowed to use storage for this challenge, though. Can I not discard it? I heard the RNG is tied to your save and it's on a table. Maybe someone could figure out the save for gold and silver. Maybe. Why, though, for inventory space? What do you mean, like, why not allowed to store it? Because it makes the run easier. Yeah, can I not discard? Is the ammo then discard it? I'll try the Gigante fight. Discarding was in the demo, yeah, it's true. I didn't save the dog. Probably should have done that. I can't discard it. Well, I could send it to the storage and then never use it. That's basically the same thing. Oh, I did not know that did durability to your knife. I had no idea, actually. Today I learned. Does it only do durability to extra knives? Oh yeah, he uses the shit out of this knife. That's wild, I had no idea. I guess it does. It's good info at least. What 
What if I use this knife? Does it use durability? Yeah, it does. It's not nearly as much. Are you dead yet, dude? Nice. Boom. Are you gonna die, Gigante? Damn, dude. There we go. That's the real thanks. There's a knife there. I wonder if the combat knife would make it faster. Is the higher damage compared to the regular knife? Probably, honestly. For the Gigante fight, I should probably use my my real knife, even for knife only. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be worth it to die on purpose to get lower DA or anything like that, but. There is DA. I don't know about Pro. I think the I think Pro has DA too, unfortunately. But I don't know if it'll be worth doing. But it does exist. So. Excuse me, doggy. I love how you can run past like 99% of these encounters in Village. It's just like the original. Faithful remake. Where you get the red nine? It's in a boat. In the water. Ashri Gramu! Um. I kind of want to just stack an insane amount of rifle ammo for late game. Like, uh, when I get, when I get the assault rifle, I'm going to have like a ton of ammo. Need a TMP in our merchant? No, but you can get the LE5. on the island, like super late in the game. Has the Japanese voice actors for the, this game like done anything I would know? Like anime or something? That'd be pretty cool. Any Naruto voice actors? Fog? Ashley. Curious. Where's the kitty cam? Mama got home, so she went and hung out with her. He's Kira from JoJo? Oh, really? Someone was saying that they really reminded them of JoJo a lot all day yesterday. <laughs> Sigma Gamer 5 phone. Can you check your IGT? Where your IGT is at? I'm curious. Have you paused the game or something? 56 minutes already? Can you just go down through the front door, actually? Yeah, like 50 times a cabin. 
Yeah, Calvin's hard on Pro at least. I, on Hardcore, I died like twice or three times, I think. But on Pro, I died a lot. Arigato. He's out for his DLC. I think the villain one is, yeah. But I unlocked the Hunk Helmet. Well, she follows you really close on standard. Wait, who are you? Literally, who are you? I didn't even see you. You just materialize? Actually, dumber on higher difficulties? Well, maybe not. It just seemed like she was falling really close. When I did that on other difficulties, she was way further away. I'm for the 55 FPS section. Because he doesn't even react when you turn a flashlight on. I wanted to get rid of the knife. My inventory is completely full. The gunpowders are nice. My immersion. Did she use how closely she follows? No, but I mean, I had her on the closest follow option before is what I meant, but she still follow really slowly like really far behind like this distance you know like for a little bit there she was like right up on my dick she was like really close wait where am i going i'm going the wrong way this is for the doggo How did you get hit by that? She was over here. They got thrown, hit by a throwing axe or something? Let's try this again. And the FPS in this section is so bad, holy shit. The only section in the game where I have frame rate issues, but this section is bad. Looks fine. Yeah, it's at 45 FPS though. If you look at the top left. Can you drop her when I shoot you, X XD? The rhythm on. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, 40, 80, getting 50 FPS here. Although I play at 1440, still. <laughs> Ah, she's really slow to climb over shit. Coming? Where is Ashley? There she is. Wow. Um, thank you. Can't open the door by yourself? What? Like, there was no one there! 
I swear, sometimes his enemies in this game materialize. Like, wait, like, like there was no one there. One second ago. I hate when they just eat in a tank. Thoughts? Yeah, me too. There's no one on the stairs either. I swear to God, they like teleport or some shit. Just materialize. Ashley, come here. Yeah, thanks for the two box sidecar. Appreciate that. Yeah, me too. Like, what? There was no audio. He just disappeared! You see that? He's gone. <laughs> what is this shit? Bro, I swear to God, they materialize and disappear whenever they want. That one on pro as well. Well, I never tried to run past stuff on pro.
Um, there we go. For you. I know I was gone for a while, but I. I bring Oreo. Welcome back. Thank you. Hey, City Hunter. I'm doing good. Oreo is so cute. Yeah, she's. You want to go back on your chair? Oreo on lap run when? Did she be making biscuits in my fucking dick? All right, I'm back. Back, we can play the video game again. I know, I was gone for a while. All good. Back to the numbers. You can't go back to the cabin after you beat it. Unlike in the original, so I need to collect all this stuff at the beginning. Oh my god, the combo came in. Where did the other accent even come from? Uh, the pre novies or the pre the pre uh bloggers. Where are you going, dude? Not the grabbers, no. Not the grabbers. Think of this. Or you maybe the highlight of this stream. I'm not even offended by that. I love Oreo. That one armed guy is trying to punch me. Dude, Lewis is certainly one of the companions of all time. Of all the companions that exist, Lewis is certainly one of them. Oh, look, three Plagas. I'm about to get an achievement. Hold my beer. I almost already got that one. That's his rock. Lewis is still useless in this version. The devs care. True. True and based. Where is uh, Utters?
Okay, Utters is now here. I think ideally we have Utters kill everyone for us. But we save our resources. This music is epic. Well, there's like no one here, dude. This is just like soloing the whole cabin upstairs. Where's others? There's no one here. There's others. There he is. What's up, buddy? Can you do some work for me? Attack, maybe? Something? Anything? Did he not do the spin move on standard? There it is. Ouch. Ouch. Utters, not me, them. Oh. I he I, like I don't know. I don't know if this is me, but like it's hard for me to hear enemies. You know what I mean? Like, this kind of a peer. Like, fucking Houdini and shit. I feel, yeah, like, I feel like he teleported. Like, he didn't make any sounds or nothing. Like, he just booked it. It's stealth big, dude. Hey, how did you get this game? I bought it. I went on Steam and bought it. It came out like three days ago. He's flying. Whatever, I don't think I even need to have others kill stuff for me. I really think no merchant on standard is gonna be pretty easy. Research shouldn't be that tight. What's up, Sabs? It's going good. How are you? Ouchies.
first hardcore run took you about 17 hours. That's about what it took for me as well. I did like everything. And this one I'm like just running past shit. In about an hour, I think, on the IGT here. An hour and 12 now, because I died there. I think those bloggers are scripted. That's a soldier. I thought that was this. I think it's time. Quicker than that. Five cat ears in real life, not in the game. I have like five pairs of cat ears here actually, because my girlfriend had like two before I met her. I had two. Because we have four pairs. Yo, nice. Well, how'd you like it, dude? That bloom is sick. <laughs> Fat cow bitch. Yeet. Oh, excuse me, sir. No heals. Oh, it's over. Well, I definitely wanted the. 
First time trying no merchant. I really doubt this is doable, to be honest. It's fucking super easy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be doable? Is there a win condition for cabin yet? I'm pretty sure that it's skill count still. Oh no. Oh, never mind. Oreo's still there. I'm pretty sure it's still kill count. Honestly. But yeah, I mean, no merchants like pretty easy so far. On standard at least. I don't know why it wouldn't be doable. I mean like, certainly easier with the merchant, but. Well, is it an achievement for doing no merchant? Yeah, yeah, well, obviously, but like the achievement for doing it no merchant can be done on New Game Plus, right? So, at least I think so. People keep asking me if I'm playing New Game Plus, so I would assume that that's why. The TMP is worse in this game than the OG, but like every gun is worse because you can't like instant stun every enemy and then still fuck them with QTs. That's like the TMP's main use in the original game is to like stun people so you can QT them. I love grabbers. Will you make a video on locking the cat ears? Probably not. <laughs> I don't even know how, how to unlock them. What's up, Jakey? Yeah, I'm loving it. I swear enemies teleport to pick up Ashley. It's wild. Like, if you're not looking at her, the enemies will just teleport to her and grab her. Professional S plus rank. I mean, that shouldn't be that hard. Just play the game more than once. On pro. Ouch. They remove crouching to avoid grabs. I'm convinced that was never in the game in the first place, honestly. I hate this room. I've hated it on every playthrough. It's awful. Still works. See, but it didn't work in the demo for me, so I figured it just doesn't work here either. Yeah, 
Why can't we parry grabs like we parry regenerator grabs? Because otherwise, the default enemy wouldn't be the strongest enemy in the whole game. Nice. Push, unblockable, unparryable, unshootable into a grab. Hell yeah. Love it. Like literally the hardest enemy in the game, regular enemy with no weapons. It's insane. Like the most difficult enemy in the entire game. Regular Granado, no weapons. This left path in the OG, yeah, basically. I love Bloom. You serious? The default enemy is the strongest. Literally, like the hardest enemy to not take damage from and to not die from is the regular villager with no weapons. Like I'm not even kidding, because there's nothing you can do. Like you just shoot them and pray that they stun. If they don't stun. Like, well, you got bad luck. That sucks. Try next time. If you do, if they do stun, then you can kick. Like, okay. The day is saved. But if they don't, you're just fucked. There's nothing you can do. And you can't parry them. So. And it's a mix-up. Like, they have a mix-up. You know, they can either punch or grab. And if they punch, then you can parry. But it's a mix-up. Like, you know, you don't know what they're going to do before they do it. They're very similar cues for both, so. How do you unlock pro? You'd be hardcore. Gonna get into the thing, Ashley? I beat pro, I did, yeah. First play there was on assisted. There's no problem with that. Whatever, whatever is the most fun to you. That's what you should play on. For me personally, I feel like standard is a little too easy. I'm glad my first playthrough was on hardcore. Yes. So I've been playing standard in pro now, like or standard hardcore and pro. Like standard is very, very mellow.
The body block while they're on the ground is so brutal. If I could parry grabs, turn slightly faster, or lessen or remove balloon, this game would be like even better. It would be even better than the original if that was the case. Unironically. The only thing I think the original has over this game is the voice acting and no bloom, better movement. I mean, this game is phenomenal, but I still think the OG edge, edge, edges out over it for me just because the gameplay mechanics are more precise than the original. Yeah, beat the classic. Yeah, well, I mean, the classic focuses on the most important thing. It's the gameplay, right? I mean, there's some pretty cheesy one-liners in this one, too. Something about a holy body, and then he stabs the final boss. That's pretty good. The holy body line was sick. This is probably the best line in the game, honestly. <laughs> Manifesting PRL award for beating Mercs all maps, S rank. I guess the PRL isn't in the game. Personally, I never used any of the new game plus weapons. So like I'm not too bummed, but I mean it is a remake, so it should probably be in there. Yeah, I love how Leon just doesn't give a fuck near the end of the game and just starts shooting the bosses as soon as he sees them. As soon as he sees any boss, he's just like fuck you and just starts shooting him, like during a cutscene even. Nah, I don't care. You three could leave. I don't mind. Honestly, I think they didn't cut enough of Island. That's my biggest, one of my biggest complaints of the game. They should have cut more of Island. Like they should have cut the first room of Island. That room is ass. Also, War Room should have just, just, just been cut, honestly. What's up, Dirked? How you doing? I think the game would be better if those rooms just didn't exist. Like, we need to just give, like, slightly less ammo or something for the final boss. She's on a mission. She does not care about us. Ashley! Hello? Hello? Ashley? You coming? I'm not a big a fan of Ashley in this game as I am the OG either. Like, in theory, she's better in this game, but if you're actually good at Ashley in the OG game, then the OG game's Ashley's better. Right? Like, she stays really close to you and she's 100% consistent. This one, it's like, I don't even know what the fuck she's gonna do. She gets stuck on random stuff. 
all the time. Uh, she's more dumb in, in the remake than the original, honestly. Hello, merchant. I'm going to continue not using you. Thank you. This versus tight is not a guarantee, whereas weight at least keeps her in a corner. Yeah, exactly, right? There's no guarantee for what she's gonna do. Okay. I have to use my real knife for this. Otherwise it's gonna break so fast. I don't want the knife to break. Hmm, what do I do? I don't want the knife to break. I don't want to use my knife for this at all. I mean, like, what am I going to use the knife for? Um, the other Gigante fight, it'll be huge for. Browser. The other Gigante fight... And Krauser. Yeah, I really don't want to use the knife here at all. Ideally, I only use the knife on Gigante. Maybe not even Gigante, just Krauser. So maybe flat trades might be the way to go. Yeah, you can't repair the knife without the merchant, so. Okay, you can dodge without the knife. You just run to the side. I need to waste the knife there. Ouch. I've never seen this attack. I don't know what's happening. It's a grab, I guess. I love their grabbing in this game. Any grabbers? <laughs> Bruh, I ran way too early. <laughs> Oops. And the fire killed me. <laughs> God damn it. Oops. Rob Mendez, trim your fingernails. This is nasty. He's going for the Guinness World Record. He's already got the $10,000 for the judge to come out. First pistol has a good crit rate. Yep. But unupgraded, it's kind of ass. God, I hate. Dude, like, I know I bitch about the movement, but like, Boy, is the movement at its worst when trying to do something like this. Like, why can't I just move? Why is everything such a long animation?
I shouldn't even use the knife there, I don't think. It seems like a waste. I need to get to the flat part here. Shouldn't fight him on the angle because it's hard to dodge this attack on the angle. I did not mean to jump down. Okay. I don't remember his first born being this tanky. Well, yeah, no merchant, so. We probably had upgraded guns. And he probably knife QT to his, his, his eye. Bro, if he's at an angle, then I get so bound. What? Bro, how did that hit me? Can't even see his eye from down here. Uh, okay. I was like in the air. <laughs> Runs have you completed already? Just new game parkour and new game pro. That's really fun. I love that. A rank B 78 saves and like eight hours. <laughs> It's only my second playthrough. I did completely different routing for the guns too. <sighs> I can't shoot right then. I really want to be safe. Shoot once. I only shoot once between each attack. Like, why is he at an angle? It's because I'm running early. God, I hate that you can just run off the edge. Like, I just want to run to the edge. I don't want to run off the edge, man. Like, uh, why does the movement have to be so bad? Like, why, 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 why? Why can't you just fucking... Just, like, not make the movement bad? I don't, I don't, like, I don't want to run off the edge. I just want to run to the edge. But yet you just jump off. Are you suicidal, Leon? I don't get it. That didn't hit me, but okay. Can you turn off auto jumping while running? I don't think so. I did not want to do that. Oh my god. How difficulty are you playing on? Yes. That's how difficult. Literally, like, what? How does that hit me?
Bro, can you kindly go fuck yourself? These command grabs. I swear this game has more grabs than fucking village. Of course, the double. Two quick ones. Or grabs the Dead Rising. Let's not get crazy here. Jump, you fuck. Now you don't want to jump off the edge? Can you get over here so my guns will actually do damage? Bro, literally, like, why do you take 12,000 years to throw the fucking thing? Just throw it, you coward. You fucking pussy. Just throw the wood. you're running away now you're running away there we go did you Not that bad. It's the really this we I needed to come up with the strat so I didn't use all my knives. That was really the problem. It's just like using so much knife. Her pistol, the default pistol. GG. Like the new sours are boss? I do a lot actually. The flash is maybe a waste. Considering I can't I can't craft them. Although, I saw Zarian do that and it looked really good. You can make him fall, like right at the beginning of the- Like, when he jumps towards like that, you can make him fall to the ground. That's what I was trying to do. Probably a waste to use that flash though. For no merchant, because I can't craft more. What's up, dude? Hell yeah. That was super skeptical, but I'm enjoying it a lot now. It's great. I mean, the shit that I was worried about, basically, like, I was right to be worried about, but doesn't make the game not great still. What's up, Samsy? Got a real big vibe. 
Are the voices in Japanese? Because the English dub is awful. What's in the bottom right? My pussy. What feature do you miss the most that the OG had? The, the guns actually being able to shoot where you're aiming. Yeah, and Ashley sticking close to you. Yeah, yeah, Ada's got the fucking blue Yeti on lock. Coming through her Discord feed. Bloom! I like, look at this. Look how good this game is. Look, I'm so glad they removed the laser sights so that I can miss half of my shots trying to shoot this fucking barrel. I mean, the new new Krauser fight is definitely better. Because the knife combat's way more fun in this game. Where did you even come from? I love grabbers. I'm sure there'll be a mod or something that adds laser sights to all weapons. I don't think you guys understand how hard that would be to do. Oh, we had this conversation earlier. It's like, that would be a really sophisticated mod. That's like adjusting source code level mod. You can't, it's not like, you don't just like bust open a command prompt and you're like, SV underscore add laser sight all weapons one or something like. It's like a core game mechanic, like, it's a way more complicated than that. Like, that's probably a function slash feature that, like, just doesn't exist for most of the weapons. So you're, like, coding that from scratch, which means you gotta directly edit the source code. Which is basically not possible, so... I mean, you'd have to figure out how to decompile all their proprietary different file formats and shit, and then... Pray and hope that what you're trying to accomplish doesn't have some, like, crazy unintended consequences because everything's connected. Ah. Yeah, or you just adjust memory. But, like, I don't know, you're adding an entirely new mechanic, basically, to a lot of guns that don't normally have it, so I... I don't know if you would be able to do that just by adjusting memory. Like, I feel like you'd actually have to, like, just code in new features. Like, memory hacks only get you so far, right? Like, that's how you, like, the trainer is memory hacks. Like, you just adjust memory values, but... 
Like, you can't add completely new features, usually, with the memory hacks. It's, like, really hard. I pr like, I'm pretty sure if you want universal red dot sight for weapons... Oh, I'm not using the merchant. Right. Nope, sorry. I, uh... Then you need Capcom to do it for you. <laughs> like, you just, just ask Capcom on Twitter, hey, can we get universal red dot sights? I mean, nicely, but... but that's, like, the only way it's gonna happen in any relative amount of time. Run ruins? Well, I didn't actually go into the merchant. I just talked to him. Like, I didn't see his inventory or anything. You can just remove spread? You might be able to remove spread if, it, if it's like a variable in the memory. I mean, it should be a variable in the memory because... Every gun has a different value for spread, so... But adding the laser sight is completely different. Adding the laser sight is a whole new feature. Yeah, that's the strat really. Like, that's what I did last playthrough basically. Like, oh, you want a laser fight for every weapon? Then only use weapons that have laser sights. <laughs> That's basically what I did. He's like the sniper and the default pistol. And no, suplex is not always an instant kill. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's not that simple, like... It would be very complicated. Yeah, Killer7. Uh, that's what I used. I used Killer7, default pistol. Riot gun. I mean, riot gun doesn't really need a laser, right? Because it's not a single shot weapon. Like, the shotguns are fine. And then... The other ones. That's exactly what I did, Dink. Yeah, is I, I used the Red 9 on my first playthrough, and then the second playthrough I used the default pistol and got the laser. And oh my god, honestly, the default pistol was so much better than the Red 9. In the remake, definitely the, the move is the default pistol. The reason I'm not using it in this run is because it has lower base damage and I can't get any upgrades because no merchant. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the striker is like unusable, but that's not a bloom problem. That's just a, a game problem. Well, yeah, I mean, in the OG, you could actually hit enemies with your red nine. Not so much in this one. I did not use the black tail. I've not tried it at all. Could be good though. The Punisher is decent. I didn't use it for very long though. The bloom is probably to make up for being able to strafe and move while shooting. I mean, they could have just made the enemies harder. It really was that big a deal. There's plenty of games out there where you can move and shoot, but you can actually shoot your targets. Well, they could have even done some CSGO shit, but like, you aren't accurate if you move and shoot. 
I would have been fine with that. Holy shit, the blame is so bad. Please just shoot the target. No? Okay. The red nine refuses. Okay. I, I thought you were deaf. I thought you were blind. Hello? What the fuck was that? Homie just curved the corner. Imagine like DA is tied to Bloom. That'd be so funny. Like, or Bloom is tied to DA, I mean. If you have high DA, then no Bloom. Is it better to use the DLC shotgun or the striker when maxed out? I have no idea. I haven't... The DLC extra stuff is so lame. Oh, fun fact. I don't know anyone who knows this, but if you bought the deluxe edition, the extra treasure map actually puts extra treasures in your game. Fun fact. So if you're interested in doing challenge runs or speed running, then you need to turn that off. Otherwise you get like an extra 200,000 worth of treasures that you wouldn't get unless you paid an extra $10 for the game, so. Just thought I'd put that out there in case you had no idea like me and you cheated on your first two playthroughs on accident. Are these speedrun shots yet? There's a couple skips, yeah. You think the red nine damage is not worth the high bloom? The base pistol does 11 damage per mag, while the red nine does 13.5 per mag. Yeah, but you get higher ammo efficiency for damage with the red nine. Also, the bloom is still bad with the default pistol because you can't get the laser sight. Could be another category. It won't be. Guess we're gonna split every category in two for whether or not you paid ten dollars extra for the game or not. That doesn't make any sense. You turn it off in game or on Steam? On Steam. You can't do it in game. Where is this slithery bastard? Kinda wanted the heal. You kill him? No. I didn't. Can you even turn off the DLC on console? Yeah, it's, you select it when you install the game. Pretty sure. So you have to reinstall the game if you already have it installed and you don't want it. Console moment.
What's up, Fireball? Fireboy, rather. So, so far, so good. But we're about to get to Water Hall, so that's going to be interesting. Isn't it pretty shitty that the DLC gave you more treasure? Yeah, it kind of sucks, huh? Kind of super lame. Especially since it's like, it is advertised as such, but like, no one knows that. What's up, Kambe? Doing good. Yeah, like a bunch of people are paying to win and don't even know, probably. I had no idea. Are you gonna make a single player game pay to win? You'd be shocked. It's very common. Hello? He does not care. Local man does not care. I found the pro Ganado. With a triple kill with a kick. The kick is so strong, it's crazy. I don't like how Ashley is like fucking off and doing her own thing. I kind of want her with me so that I know what she's doing. Like I'm, oh, I'm on the far setting. That's why. My bad. Where you get the sniper at later? It's after the Ashley section. Unfortunately, it's not before water all. It'd be very useful here. I mean, even if you do tell her to stay with you, she kind of fucks off and does her own thing anyways. in the library yeah there were less archers in this room maybe because I died so many times on Mendez EA memes like OG re4 Suplex City, baby. I have one flash. I don't think using it on water hall is a good idea, honestly. Probably gonna be worse rooms later. That dude is stuck over there, AFK, so. I'll just go this one.
I think just chilling. He's vibing. Die, you ugly fuck. Thanks. Sky's all there. What's worse, old Novi or new Novi? Definitely old Novi's worse. 100%. That's like one of the clear cut, like, yes, this is better in the remake things. Is Novi's. Can you make her crank these things? I don't seem to be able to. Save our progress in this room, huh? Did you turn around? I swear to God, they teleport. I swear. I like if I'm running away from enemies with with La Ashley, I need to look at the enemies, or they will teleport. Keep saying DA, what does it mean? Difficulty adjustment? Game gets easier when you play worse. Game gets harder when you play good. I like the shirt off one. What's the other one? I like the anime one better. We're doing the anime one. Good choice. Wait, that's a feature? That's been a feature in like 90% of modern games since like 2004. A complete dog shit feature that no one that knows about it likes, but... I mean, it's fine if you're playing on like a normal or something, but... If you're playing on the hardest difficulty and there's DA, it's a fucking meme. Can I tell Ashley to crank this one? I don't think I can. No, I can't. Why not, dude? OG was better. Dude, the bloom is so bad. I can't kill the archers, it's impossible. The bloom, the bloom is too bad. Bro, how are you gonna put archers in a room like this? When I can't even shoot them because the bloom is so bad. The only thing worse than the bloom in the remake is the movement.
Well, the OG is definitely harder. At least if you don't use rockets in the OG. See, there's DA on pro. I think so, yeah. I have not confirmed that, but I'm like 99% sure there is. There's DA on Inferno in 3 make. That's so lame, yep. I could be wrong though. I'm right. Yeah, well. Well. Um, the remake had DA on everything except for Nightmare, which is why Nightmare was base. More realistic. <laughs> yeah. More realism. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm gonna run out of fucking handgun bullets trying to kill these guys. Difficulty is a standard. Actually, go. They're stunned. They were, now they're not, you dumb bitch. You boy! Hello. I just shot you in the face. Please stun. This is standard. I swear when it comes to Ashley, the enemy's cheap. They teleport and they become way tankier. I can't, I can't save you Ashley, sorry, Capcom said no. Go, what are you doing? Run this way. Like what? Bro, she's like, okay, yes. Take her over there, dude, please. Go, oh, Ashley. Thank you. Did the fucking Ganado helping. Let's go. Bloom! You'll be fine. Just get back up. You got this, Ashley? Please? I don't want to have to need you again. Hey, 
That was so fucking cursed. What if I bloom moment? Come here! Thank you. How do you run out of ammo? Well, you run out of ammo by having a half of your bullets just miss because of RNG. That's how. <laughs> Later, Claire and Leon. Appreciate you. Thanks for making. Bro, shut up. I don't care. Open the door. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> I need me a hot, evil goth Ashley in Japanese to stab me. This better not awaken anything in me, bro. If you're over the age of like 15 and you don't already like goth girls, I think you're locked in. You're a normie. What's up, Bidji Katana? Yeah, that game's great. So far, you think it's better than the original, but you haven't finished it yet? It gets worse on island. Island isn't as good as the rest of the game, but I think Island is better than original Island. Where does one find a goth girl? Dude, honestly, I'm dating one for like six months now and I could not tell you. I'm pretty sure it's RNG. What's up, Sash? I'm doing good. It is Pog, though. I have no shotgun ammo, but I do have lots of fish. You think I could fish slap? The zealot? What do you think of the shooting range? I think the only thing missing was the merchant doing a Fortnite dance during the bullet bonanza. I think the only thing that sucks about the shooting range is that the core gameplay of the shooting sucks. The shooting range is you're like, oh, you're like, this game is great. And then you play the shooting range, you're like, wait a second. Maybe the game is not great, actually. Maybe this game sucks. I got scammed. Oh, my suplex. Bro, you won't stun! Come here! The shooting range is really fun, I like it. But then, you know, 
Once you try to 100% the shooting range, you realize how RNG the shooting mechanics are, and you go, holy shit, actually, wait a second. Maybe it's not that good after all. Okay, I'm gonna drop the chandelier, I think. Why do you have a Neon Genesis Evangelion poster in the corner? Because it's fucking sick. I just don't have anywhere to put it at the moment. It's not you, though, Mini Morrow. It's the game. It's not even Cope. Bloom mechanics. I think I killed the whole one enemy there. Yes. Uh, not worth. TMP get all skulls challenge. Yeah, that or the fucking Red Nine get all skulls challenge. Any of the get all skulls challenge, actually, honestly, they're all bad. Well, I didn't get shock on him by this time, so. That's probably worth a knife. That's definitely worth a knife if it kills. No grabbing. Ow! No. Grabbing. You good, Lamp? You good? Well, the best part is the final shooting range thing requires you to do all 100 shots successfully to get bonus time. So you need to do the hardest shooting range gallery with the bloom. And you need to hit all 100 targets. And you have to get the skulls. If you're trying to get the skulls, you also have to do all 100 targets, so... I feel like there's a much better way to do this room. Someone told me the chandelier is really good and you can like lure everyone into it and get like a bunch of kills, but... Nice campion. Hope you enjoyed it. When did the speedruns begin? No merchant, then knife only, then speedruns. Have you get your ears unlocked? Nah. 
Yeah. Water wall be done knife only. Nope. Now there can like 10 other things. Oh, just knife only. The strat for the knife only run is going to be to only use the knife and grenades. Unless I absolutely have to. But it'll be unassisted. Where the fuck is the third one? I've never played standard before. Do I have it? No, it's here. It's like knife and pistol only is just pistol only. Like, why, why would you even use the knife? And like... And I basically did pistol only on my new game pro playthrough because the default pistol is just fucks if it's upgraded. It should do. Please, Bloom, hit the target. Did you know this game is based on the Resident Evil 4 2005 version? No way, that's crazy. Holy shit. Yo, Thank porcelain so maid. Yo, with the five gifted. Thank you so much. If it's up to you, Yexler Cruz, uh, Timo HDX, uh, 8 Joji, Zicky Kane, and uh, Unity. Enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much, Personal and Maid. Isn't the best VTuber that I know? Hog. How you been? Haven't seen you in a while. So quantum sleep. You think no merchant would be possible on Hardcore Pro? Yeah, on Pro, I don't know. Hardcore, probably. And what really is gonna be the be the make or break is uh, Salazar. You like sometimes? You don't like your number one relaxation content? Really, because they don't relax me very much. Well, that's unfortunate. I just, I just, I don't want to deal with this right now. I've had a long day. Please leave me alone. Thank you. So considerate, honestly. Excuse me, sir. Oh, not the grabber. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Look, I'm tired of fighting stuff. I need a puzzle. Let's break up the action a little bit. Nice sight. It's the best pistol. The starter pistol. Hello. Oh. 
Bloom, hello? How long am I on this playthrough? Two and a half hours? It's unlucky that I didn't get shotgun ammo this time. I probably should have taken the W with the shotgun ammo. Can you like not? Thank you. Sir, die. Much love. I like the game, it's great. I swear this section is harder on standard than hardcore. You know what? You wanna see something cool, chat? I messed it up. I don't know how to do it. I've seen the video. You can like throw the nade through the door and it breaks open the door and you just leave. I don't know how to do it though. You wanna see something cool? Yeah, me too. Let's go look it up. But did that grenade actually just kill somebody? Pretty sure I've never seen that happen before. I didn't even know grenades could kill people. Grab. Bloom! You son of a bitch! Shoot the fucking Plaga. And the merchant is Bloom Hell. Yeah, like, you know what? Can I just, like... I'm looking it up. I want to see it. Spicy posted it. Disable streamer mode from spicy. Flips the lever first and then Here you go. Thanks, Leon. Flip the lever. Dang, see I like here. I'm a fucking magician. Speedrunning or communism? I don't know the difference. Yeah, well, you know, let's run it back. Beating the game, beating the game, pro, beating the game pro difficult? Sure. I mean, yeah. I think, I mean, it's not much more difficult than hardcore. At least it wasn't for me. I can at least craft shock in it, though. What's up, Shark? How you doing, dude? Resident Evil 4 Speedrunner, Shark Hat, 87. Where are you guys going? Come back! Thought we were cool.
we tried pro yet but he says not too much harder i mean it's definitely harder but i don't know the the way i played it made it a lot easier Oh fuck. Man, I don't have any ammo. <laughs> I used the default pistol instead of the red nine and it made the game like 10,000 times easier. Bro, I kind of need some of these grenades. But I like, don't have any shock in them. <laughs> Let's lock the fucker behind there. That shotgun ammo. You can hit the counterweight with nades, yes. You can skip this. Where did you even come from, my guy? Who invited you? This is an exclusive party, you bitch! Bro, literally, go fuck yourself. There's so many enemies. I have to kill them, or I'm fucked. Default's better than the Red 9. Yeah, the crit rate is insane on the default. And the big thing is no bloom, because you get the red dot set. That's the big thing. You need a backpedal the whole time? Not looking at you. That's what I thought, bitch. A checkpoint every time you redo that. Just farm the enemies this way. Now that's the visual effect bloom. The gameplay mechanic bloom is a different thing. Bloom is where that thing that makes all of your bullets random because you need game design. Bloom is the thing that makes it so that when I aim at this guy, the bullets shoot outside the crosshair and nowhere near where I'm aiming and it's completely random. That's a bloom. I don't rank the mainline REs. Let's see. 4 OG. 4 Remake. Five yes. Remake Village. Everything else sucks. Get that checkpoint, huh? Challenge the no mercy challenges have got a lot harder when we got to the castle, that's for sure.
No, to make his ass. To make it not even a video game. You just walk around. That's may as well be PT. You don't do nothing in that game. Want someone to replace every enemy with a grabber? Oh god. Miss Weber moment. You live when you get separated from the parasite? That's crazy. That dude teleported? Dude, I swear to god, they do. I swear the enemies teleport. I I don't I can't prove it. But if you do like a lever or like you're having Ashley follow you and you look away, these motherfuckers teleport. Oreo is out. She is fucking comfy. They call it bullet deviation in other games. I mean, that's one name for it. I mean, literal, the, the technical mechanical name for it is Bloom. Like, when talking generally about game dev. What's the status of this gameplay? Gaming is in fact occurring. Check back later for a new status update. Yeah, I will, Tom. I love archers. Ouch. Bro, I hate archers. Abolish archery. Better, Harvey. Have a good night. I'm sure gaming will continue to occur. Island is definitely Cheeks. I mean, it's better than the original, but it's still Cheeks, yeah. I will always preface that with, it is better than the original, but... But... Still Cheeks. A merchant? Yes, see, Sem Mercador. Got here, grab her. Better GG, Matt. Thanks for hanging, dude. Appreciate you. Dude, I'm gonna have so much rifle ammo when I get that free rifle. Woo! That was close. What's up, such ghosts? Howdy. What free guns are there now? Red 9, shotgun. Uh, M4A4, Howl. Wait, did this man just not get annihilated by that? And MP5.
I think the speedruns for the remake will be more difficult than the OG. Nah, they'll be easier for sure. Might be more random. But easier. Definitely more random at the moment at least. Yeah. At least like, I don't know, it depends on what category you're thinking. Like pro? I think it might be... I mean, you gotta think Spartan. Like we have so many hours in RE4. Like just having good movement and actually control in OG is like so difficult. It takes like hundreds of hours, you know? In the OG. But like this game is way more approachable. You know what I mean? Like it depends what you mean by hard. Like if you just want to finish a run, OG is probably easier, but like... I don't know, like, getting good at the movement and, like, Ashley kiting and... Some of the strats for OG RE4 are, like, really difficult. Where this game is gonna be way more straightforward, I think. Mostly just, like, holding W. Like, I think the skill ceiling is higher in OG RE4. That's basically what I'm trying to say. But yeah, like, there's gonna be some pretty unique difficulties. Like, there's gonna be some complete bullshit in this run, for sure, on Pro, at least. Get RPG the Gigante here, and he stops throwing rocks. I figured that was the case. That's pretty cool. I never tried it. You could do, you could RPG the boulder. You can do boulder skip still, basically. You can also RPG in 5-4. The 5-4 one's actually probably gonna be useful in speedruns. Like in, in the, the war room area or whatever, you can RPG that thing that Mike usually kills. Or no, you kill it with a Gatling gun, normally. So you don't have to climb to the top. You, like as soon as it spawns, you can just RPG it and it just dies. So. Well, good morning, Zachary. You actually throw a grenade at the AA turret? Oh, really? That's huge. I had no idea. Sorry, is that a kitty? Yes, her name is Oreo. She looks like she's dead, but I swear she's not. What do you think this draft for Pro S rank will be? I mean... Beat the game fast. Probably whatever the new game pro route is. Does it have to be a heavy grenade or a normal grenade work too? Hell yeah, Bao. Already doing challenges. New game, no merchant. It's going pretty well so far. It, it was like really easy until I got to Waterhall and then after that it got really hard. Every room after Waterhall has been hard. That Ashley? Yup. Who put the dogs down? Who? 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 Peter put the dogs down? Uh, you don't get a free. This is useless, right? You don't. You can't use this in no merchant. Right? Yeah. A standard sim rockador. See. Si. Por que completar? 
Resident Evil 4. Sam Mercador. Standard moment. Yeah, like I, you waste all your ammo in Waterfall, and then the, the sections after that are like even harder. <laughs> the assault rifle is not good. Not really. I mean, it's just a sniper, essentially. I don't know why it's an assault rifle. But it is basically just a sniper that you can shoot full auto on accident and waste a bunch of ammo. It's pretty good. Like, it's not bad, but... You know, like, it is just a sniper, basically, that you can accidentally use too much ammo on. Yeah, no free rocket either. Yeah, it's free. That's the important part. No grabbing. I got it, but it spends my rifle with less... It spends my rifle ammo with less uh, damage. Yeah. I feel that. Well, what I did in my pro run is... Leo, I um, I didn't use a, I didn't buy a rifle, ever, and I just got that one, and that was okay. Cause what I did is I used the exclusive tag on it to get 1.5 times damage immediately, and then I just rushed the power upgrade. So it did like insane damage. Like, I annihilated Salazar with it. Because I had, like, fucking 30 bullets for it, and it was doing, like... So much damage. We're talking about the assault rifle. Yeah, we're generator is. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Where do you get the rifle for free? Uh, it's in, if you go with Leon and backtrack into the Ashley section with the Knights. Damn, that uses a whole ass knife? Fuck. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, I'm not using any more knives here. The doggy plaga is not good. It makes it so much tankier. I didn't think I would use the whole knife. The only reason I used the other knife is because it was like one hit from broken. I'm glad I decided to do this on standard because once I got the water hall, it got so much harder. No, die, please. No plaga. Thank you. Oh, I fucked Ashley. You can never repair the normal knife? No. So I want to save it for. Browser. I want to save as many knives for Krauser. There's like two knives in the Krauser fight for each fight, I think, but like the default knife does way more damage, so you want to use that instead.
Yeah, no, merch is way different in this game. It's pretty cool. All right, I gotta go. I, I, I... This one's mag ammo, I think. No, hang on. Don't use the merchant. I like have this instinct to like, oh, I'm here. Use the merchant. Of course. What are the requirements to get SNS Plus? I think uh, Pro, it's less than 15 saves and less than five and a half hours. So like, the game does not like giving me small supplies. So I'm just crafting large supplies. I'm just crafting all the sniper ammo. When I get the assault rifle finally, I'm gonna have like 12,000 sniper rounds. This is not the right one. This is the one I was thinking for Ashley. The Ashley one is here. And I am here. Pretty much a speed run. Well, the speed run is going to be way faster than five and a half hours. That's for sure. I don't know if anyone's gotten a sub two yet on standard, but like definitely sub two for standard at least. It doesn't seem like anyone's really routing pro right now. I think Spice he was doing a little tiny bit of routing. I grabbed the head, right? No. Trolling. Uh, spicy, maybe Zeke. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the crafting either. Still not. You're going to start with assisted. I can see that. The thing is, it's not going to be like dead space. There's not going to be a ton of skips and stuff. I mean, there are some skips already, but it's not like that you know I mean, if you're gonna do assisted you may as well do new game plus like i think standard hardcore and uh pro are gonna be like the meta that's what happened with remake yeah pro is doing or trans is doing some pro routing hey ashley if I come over here, will you do this for me? Ashley. Do the thing. Do the thing, Ashley. Well, yeah, I mean, the reason why the one to learn is New Game Pro and the OG game is because it's consistent. But in this game, the higher difficulties just make the game more random, not more consistent, so. actually gonna help or what is it worth using a flash here I can't craft flashes, so probably not. Now she's doing it. But she missed. Oh, hello there. I did not see you. I thought they spawned in waves like in the OG. There goes like half of that knife. 
I kind of want to restart the auto save. Yeah, I'm going to restart the auto save. Ooh, nice shotgun shells. Better RNG on the drops this time, too. Does the kick always knock their helmet off? Oh, it does. Okay. That's pretty sick. Never did that in your playthrough? Oh, it's super useful. Who's waking up? Excuse me, sir. Ashley? Hello, Ashley? <laughs> Ashley trolling? Can you hit both? That'd be cool. Come here. You commander in this section, it'd be so good. Yeah, pretty sick. I just kicked that blogger into bits. What a legend! Bloom, bloom, bloom moment. Ah, oh, there's three of them. Now is it worth it to use a flash? Actually, maybe. There's three of them. I don't think that she has... I don't think I can kill them. Yeah, she's out of... She's out of lamps. That's why I didn't heal. Like, she only has four lamps, so... I didn't have enough ammo to kill them. Unless I could have her do more lamps, but she's out of lamps. I knew I was gonna get fucking hit when I throw a flash. I always get hit when I throw a flash. This is just like the OG game.
The skin combo, it's great, dude. Especially with the red nine. I'm gonna do the grenade skip on the catwalk. I was planning on it. I was planning on it. Dude, I just cannot get small supplies. I like, I don't know what it is, but you just cannot, like, I just cannot get small supplies. First stream of the remake I'm catching. How did you like the game, Waifu? It's awesome. What's up, Super Sezo? How you doing, dude? What's the grenade sip? What you're about to see. <laughs> it's actually so easy to do. Skips this whole room basically. Only I could tell Ashley to wait. And she would wait at the beginning of the room and I wouldn't have to deal with this shit. Grab her! Why can I not shoot my gun? Oh, because the dude's screaming or whatever. Ashley, get the fuck over here! Oh, sick. Okay, let's go. Grabber's dead. Spartan, did you see Grabj? I think you'd like it. <laughs> Grab just Smith. Here on phone. Rip. Edge. Grab just pretty good though. It's perfect for this game. Yay, the Ashley section. I did, Shinobi. If this game was made for speedrunners, then why are the harder difficulties make the game more random, huh? Hot wheels. Beat that. Well, I went the wrong way. Oopsies. Is that it? Did I forget it. Oh, it's eleven oh four on standard. Oh, that's right. I forgot it changes. 11 and 4, so 11. I forgot it changes. But this is 11. So the, the hour hand has to be on 4, I guess. Big hand on 11. Small hand on 11. Big hand on 4. That's what I just tried. Brother, did you forget how a clock works? No, this shit is dumb. 11.04. Like, actually 11.04? Like, the way the analog clock actually works? Yes. This game is so dumb. Okay, so like on hardcore and pro, it's a clock. Yes, I understand. But okay, but you have to understand on hardcore and pro, the puzzle solution is in Roman numerals. 
like you don't understand that's right we did a rant about this before roman numerals are numbers yes but you would think that the roman numerals it gives you are seven and twelve so you would think it's seven twelve right you would think that it's like seven and then twelve you know like written out like seven comma like one two right but no the answer to the solution the answer to the puzzle is put the hour hand on seven put the minute hand on 12. if you know how to read an analog clock then the puzzle doesn't make any sense like the puzzle just doesn't make sense on hardcore and pro like it, it gives you a three digit number that looks like a clock number but it's in roman numerals and so you assume oh this is the time i put on the clock and but you go to put 7 12 in on the clock and it doesn't work because you need to put 7 and 12 like on the number 7 and 12 on the roman numerals 7 and 12 not not on the time 712, which is very different. But in the standard, the puzzle solution is 712, like as you read a clock, 712. So technically the puzzle is harder on standard because you have to know how to read an analog clock. Also, I have to go move the bookcase first. Otherwise, I won't be able to go get the thing. It's fucking stupid. The cutscenes count on the in-game timer? I don't think so. I'd be surprised. It didn't in 2 and 3 remake. I mean, technically you don't. I mean, you you could just guess the clock combo. But I mean, how many possible combinations are there? Not that many, right? I mean, you could just spin it in a circle. Like, it's probably one of the most guessable puzzles ever, right? Like, you just go one tick to the right, hit enter. Go one click to the right, hit enter. Go one click to the right, hit enter. Like, it probably wouldn't take that long to brute force it, honestly. It's probably one of the more brute forceable puzzles. I go, although I guess it's like, yeah, because it's simple, right? Like you could just press right and then enter. <laughs> this is not randomized. It doesn't seem like any of the puzzles are random. Thank God. He brute forced every puzzle in this game. That's base as fuck, honestly. You're a legend. Also, I'm so glad you can skip this section with Ashley. You just like skip half of the Ashley section. No, the puzzles change depending on the difficulty, but they're not random. Hardcore and Pro have the same puzzles, but Standard and Assisted have different ones. Presumably they get harder on the harder difficulties. But as we have just discussed, the clock puzzle actually gets easier. Excuse me, sirs. It is random which Regenerator has the, the thing, it's true. You think you could just like buy a rocket launcher and shoot in between all of them? And kill all of them at once? So you don't have to guess? I bet you that, that, that might work. I don't know what the radius is on the rocket launcher, but... It's 
It's like 720 options. Yeah, but all you have to do to cycle through the options is just one to the right. You know. So you would go through options really fast. Unlike something like the dial puzzle in Mendez's house, you know, where it's like three different possible combinations. There's only 72 possible solutions, but keeping track of which ones you've tried in your head is impossible. Don't have to guess because the bioscope shows you the wretch inside of the regenerators. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying like if you wanted to skip the scope, you could just like rocket launch through the room maybe and kill all of them. Just so you don't have to pick it up and equip it and all that shit. Like, we're talking small time saves. That wouldn't be something that you would do in like New Game Pro probably. No, it's different for sure, because Hardcore and Pro were different, at least. I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's random, though. But I was talking, like, you're, like, New Game Plus Assisted with the Infinite Rocket Launcher, you probably just Rocket Launcher them. Skip the scope. I mean, you could already have the scope, right? But, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I Reaper. It's new game plus only though. Uh, where am I going? I always get lost in this Ashley section. I go this way? Or do I go back the way I came from? Do I go back the way I came from at the start? No? I go this way, right? Past the elevator? Yeah, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, chat. Thank you. I'm gonna go to the bathroom.
Come on. Say hi. Say hi. Trying to eat my fucking pork loin. That's true, cats love boxes. Using your cat for monetary gain. Fuck yeah. Bro, I didn't even want the damn thing. My girlfriend begged me for a cat. I was like, sure, I like cats. You know, damn while well I'm getting my money's worth. Thing's gonna be on my stream as much as possible. Yeah, first it's no hit runs, then all of a sudden I'm doing fucking putting cats on the stream. Carsey's going out of business, dude. There's a new no hit runner in town. Excuse me. to rage like he does yeah I, worry, I rage way worse than Carsey you haven't been here very long if you don't think I do Get in there. Get in my inventory. Get in. Get rid of this. Oreo. Bad kitty. that food I know. No worry y'all. Stay off of my desk, please. Alright, we're chilling. Yeah, the inventory's gonna be kinda tight from now on, but... I have, like... Twenty... Fifty... Sixty... Ammo for the sniper?
So. So all are going down. What are these things? These are these are raw fish. Oh, they're resources. They're crafting things. I just never have enough gunpowder to use them all. That's those are all gonna be used for sniper ammo too. Now this version of 5-4 is not quite as bad, but it's still pretty rough. I don't think that running past Novi's is a thing. I got an auto save, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try to run past this shit. I'm gonna just try to speed run this real fast. See what happens. So far, so good. This is where things get scary. How'd you get that pistol without the merchant? It's available for free in the middle of the lake after you kill the Lago. Not really, Hondo. In the next like two days there should be. Bro, you're literally in the way. Oh, I didn't want to use my knife. The dude was just chilling in the way. I would have made it too. I wonder if this works. I think this works. Is this copium or does this work? Is 
Does this cope or does this work? I don't know. Definite copium. I don't know. It looked like it worked. I mean, it works in RE2 Remake for liquors. Uh, hello, Bloom. Thank you. I found that you can nade the TMP, start Village Bell and Sniper, and the nade for the Plagas. I don't know what you're trying to say, Exler. Go for the achievement or are you doing this run for funsies? Well, I'll get the achievement. Just by doing the run, but... I'm not doing the run for the achievement. I'm doing the run for the content. I feel like for this room... What's up, Pity? I feel like for this room... Well, because for the achievement... You can do it on a new game plus save. That's way easier. If I was going for just for the achievement, I would just do it. I would just do it on new game plus, but this is a new game, so. I kind of want to aggro them and then have them kill everybody for me. It seems like it might be the strategy. They're doing great, great job, Gerdor. Good night, Smith. Don't let the grabbers get you. Yo, did he scratch the other Gerdor in the back? I think he did. Bloom! You missed. Definitely using the Gyarados to kill the other enemies is the move. Holy shit, especially because my gun cannot hit anything. I have 105,000 pesetas. I'm not even picking up treasures. He knows! He knows! This one has eyeballs! Ooh. Oh, that was rough. This one's just pretending to not be able to see. W's worthy. You only here for the cat? Well, she moved! There you go. Sorry. Yeah, water hole's still in this game. Going good. Kill the shield guy, please. Thank you. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ah, I'm dead. Yep. I got stuck. 
Dude, she says, like, I will lay anywhere except for this bed. Fuck you. I don't know. When we got her the... When we got the bed when we first got her, and she loved it. She laid it in all day. Now she don't lay in bed ever. Quick ass name for you. Fight, 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 fight. Bingo. Bingo. Not the grabbers. Oh my God. Why is like every drop ever in this game RNG? Every vase, I swear to God, it's random. Boot knife in this room too? Oh shit, really? Where that at? Oh, right there. Rest in peace is that guy. They are, dude. Gyarador is easy. Grabbers? Fuck no. I wasn't ready. You can crouch, the grabbers won't grab you. Yeah, you keep saying that, but try doing it. That shit don't work. Yeah, this is the old one, obviously, as you can tell. Full compress. This came out in 2005. I did not see you. Hello, FOV. Did me in. They're asking for preference. Definitely the OG. The scrims right though. I love it. I don't know. The amount of people that asked me if I was playing the remake when I was playing the OG. Like, is, is this the remake? When I was playing RE4? OG, you be shocked. A non zero amount. Is this game worth full price? Depends. How much is a dollar worth to you? What is the current economy of your world looking like? Whether a gamer was worth it or not, it really just depends on like your financial situation, honestly. God, this room's kicking my ass.
Which part do you think is worth buying an RPG for for speedruns? Well, it depends on the difficulty because they're different prices. But I think definitely if you can't get away with killing Verdugo without a rocket and having it be fast, then probably Verdugo. Be a big one. Salazar for sure. I mean, if you thought RE2 Remake was worth $60, then this game will literally make you shit your pants. Yeah, but you lose four minutes to not killing Verdugo. But even on pro, it, it'll be rotted in eventually for sure. Unless you get, you're you're gonna kill Verdugo, like on, even on pro. It just, the question is, do, do you use a rocket or not? It's a four minute time loss to not kill him. Like, maybe not in the first couple runs, you know, but eventually when it is optimized, you will kill Verdugo. The RPG costs 160,000 on pro. So it's like a really pricey. How long do you have to wait for the elevator? Four minutes, like I said, like three times now. Price is different depending on the difficulty level. Oh yeah, hardcore and pro are the same. The bloom is so bad, dude. The bloom. I mean, you can get a fuck ton of treasure from just like random drops on the ground when enemies die and stuff. That'll probably be the majority of it. But you're gonna buy multiple rocket launchers. You want one for Sadler, for sure. You're gonna want a rocket for Sadler. It skips the whole fight. There's two crowns. I don't know where the second one is. You're definitely gonna max out one of them because one of them's free. Like no time loss to get. Make it easier by having the Gyaradors kill enemies. That's what I'm trying to do. Can I use? Nice. Okay. You can use like that. I didn't even see the other one, dude. Why do they not make sound? Why are they stealth Gyaradors? They're deaf, not soundproof. <laughs> they don't make sounds themselves so they can hear other people better. That is like such a smart strat, actually. It's like some Naruto shit. He's going the other way, isn't he? No. Oh. Bloom! 
It's not the name. I love Bloom. I'm dead. Yep. Oh my god, dude. Uh, I want to save all of my rifle ammo for Sadler, just in case I run out and he won't die, but maybe I should use some here. I do have a lot of fucking ammo, so. No, that's Sather. I meant Salazar. Can't follow the cat. No, I just manually readjusted a bunch of times. Using the knives for anything besides Krauser is a mistake. I believe, at least. Krauser has a free knife if you parry up. I tried to parry it, but I've always missed. That's cool though, I didn't know that. Okay, like, why is it that every time I go to shoot the Garridors, where do these guys keep coming from, dude? They jump from the roof over and over again, but there's there's so many, so many fucking dudes in this room. Skip. Oh. How long is the speedrun so far? I have no idea. Two hours, I think. Can't do no immersion and you get plus? I mean, you can, but what's the fun in that? For the achievement, yeah, you can do a game plus. But for the clout, no, you cannot.
I done my S plus playthrough already? No. I don't know if I ever will. Unless I'm doing the speedrun. I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of like the whole like ranking system on your fucking completing the game or whatever. I just do whatever's fun. Like this sounded like fun, so. Doing it. I had 1200 hours in RG Remake and I never got my ranks or whatever. I just don't care. I love RNG stun. I'm dead. Grabber, no, I didn't want to have to break the knife, but whatever. Why is everything in this game random? Random stun, random accuracy, random death. All right, the cat was holding me back. Now we'll do it. New game, no merchant? Yep. Yeah, I'm too big, dude. Hello. I how what how did that get hit? What I'm so confused. Bingo. How did the bell over there get hit?
Oh, is this the strap? Not until they get unstuck, at least. Fuck you, bitch. A fake out and everything. I'm losing my mind. Did you know, fun fact, every single mechanic in this game is RNG? Did you know? It's, it's kind of sick. Movement, RNG. Aim, RNG. Enemy patterns, RNG. Every single thing in the game is RNG. Okay, aim is a bit of a stretch to say it's RNG. Aim is literally RNG. I, you're just dumb. You don't know enough about the game. Do some research. Play the shooting gallery and tell me aim is not random. From the original one, Super RNG? No, oh, hyper consistent. The reason you play on pro difficulty is because it's not random. Just mad because you got no bitch on my dick. But I do though, my girlfriend literally just came home, that's why I took a break. Say what's up to her. Make sure she's doing okay. Why are they not? It sounds. I don't get what you mean by aim is RNG. Look at this. I'll show you. I'll illustrate. I'll illustrate to your ignorance. Look at where I'm aiming. Right? Like half of half of this shit's in there, right? That one hit. But look at where the bullet hits each time. You see how it's just like anywhere inside that circle? Every time you shoot it's different. Random. Like if you play the shooting gallery, you will see because you need to have really good aim in the shooting gallery. Aim is so precise that you actually, it's RNG. Like there are some shots in the shooting gallery that you just can't hit unless you're lucky. It's really bad. For every gun. The later side gets rid of it, but the later side is only available on three weapons.
Yeah, I got all S-Ranks in the shooter gallery and I am never doing it again. Yeah, same. Yeah, it does. Yeah, you. so you can sit here for a whole second and a half every time you want to shoot a shot to get a more accurate shot, but you can still miss via Bloom. Like, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see that? That shit wasn't even on my reticle and I hit the fucking vase. RNG. Yeah. Yeah, so, yes. Aiming isn't random. Yeah, no, it is. That's why in my pro playthrough, I used the default pistol and I used the laser sight because it made the game like two points better. I mean, that's not something that they'll fix in an update. I mean, it's intentional. It's just that it's bad game design. Don't ask me why you would intentionally make your aim complete shit in your game, but... I guess the thought process is it's too easy otherwise, but... I mean, if it, the game is too easy, if you actually can aim your shots, then maybe just like make the game harder in other ways. I don't know. Like, there's nothing more frustrating than your aim being completely random. It feels like it takes all the skill out of the game. I had a shield on his back like he was playing fucking Elden Ring. You're saying it's only random with reticles and not random with laser sights and scopes. Yes, literally that's the whole point of the laser sight is to remove the bloom. Like that's what makes it good. It's not just a purely cosmetic thing. Like you could, you, you could try it. Like you could go use a gun with laser sight or a scope and just shoot the same spot a bunch of times and you'll see. That might be a good knife. No. Yeah, well, thanks to the raid. Shit, that. I'm using like so much rifle ammo, but I still have a lot, so it's fine. I'll just stream more. Thanks again for the raid. Are you gonna die?
Good night, Judges. Thanks, Dragon. Appreciate you. I mean, like, the game is phenomenal, but it's one of those things where it's like, holy shit, dude, like, why is it like this? Wait, he was dead. He was, like, slashing around, but he was dead. Question mark? There's two knives to pick up. That's not a really good drop. Slash around for like 10 seconds when they die. I don't know. That was way longer than 10 seconds, but maybe I just missed something. That was well done, thank you. The iron sets are pretty sick. No bloom on those. It's probably your favorite room so far. That shit was really hard. But yeah, basically if you're using a gun that doesn't have laser sights or a scope, then there is a bit of RNG to where your bullets go. How RNG it is depends on which gun it is. But like, I don't know, like OG RE4 doesn't have this problem. OG RE4, it's just never RNG. It's just, you shoot and a bullet goes where your laser is. And that game is hard as fuck. So, I don't really think that you have the problem of it not being hard enough if, uh, you know, your bullets go where you shoot. I think it just makes the game objectively better. Do I like the OG better than the remake? I do, yeah, because of two things in particular. The movement and the OG, while worse casually, is way better if you're playing at a high level because there's not this like jerky, like swinging animations when you move around and stuff. It just feels way smoother. You have a higher level of control. And um, because there's no bloom. But other than that, I mean, the remake is better. Like, just... as a game, the remake is better. It's just when you're trying to play it at a high level, the OG is better. How am I going to approach Verdugo? I'm just going to run around in circles <laughs> like I did on my pro playthrough. Yeah, like, cat, like if you're just playing, like, you know, for fun, you know, you're not trying to, like, play at a really high level or, like, speed run or do challenge runs or whatever, then this is better. But if you care at all about the game, like, being fair or responsive, then you can get bent if you're playing this one. OG RE4 is easy on pro? I mean... No, <laughs> it's definitely not. For most people, it's not. I mean, yeah, if you have a bunch of hours in the game like me or probably you, then then yeah. But, you know, you're playing pro on like your third playthrough ever, like most people are. It's definitely not easy. Water Novies are fine if you can kill them in like two shots, but they are super tanky, but no, no upgrades. So. I'm getting my ass beat. Nice, Mr. T. GG. The movement? Yeah, the movement's awful. Dude. Like, so like you see this, this is me going AD, AD, AD. This is me going tapping AD, 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 AD. AD. Like, awful. 
Like I'm running forward. This is the thing that happens a lot in this game. I'm running forward. Right? And an enemy pops out really fast and I want to immediately stop and back up. This is what happens. It's like a second long turning animation. During this turning animation, you get hit. And then you're facing the other way. You're like this. And you can't parry because you're facing the wrong way. Right? Like... Like, for example, OGRE4, you're sprinting, and then you want to stop, you, you can press back and immediately stop. Like, frame one, stop. And then you can just start walking backwards. Yeah, you can't sprint the other direction right away. But, like, you can bait attacks like that. Like, you can run forward, then run back to bait attacks. You can't really do that in this game because you get this awkward-ass turn animation. And, like, because it turns, you get, like, stuck on corners and shit, and, like, it just feels bad. Like, if you're sprinting at all during combat, there's like some awkward moments where like you get stuck like facing the wrong direction and you like can't turn the way you want and you end up running into an enemy that you like don't even see and yeah like it's like casually yeah I feel way better but if you were actually like trying to have a high level of control also yeah there's like a time like a, if you're running the opposite direction the way you're aiming like it takes like you can't shoot until the crosser shows up right yeah, like in the OG, completely responsive. Like frame one, like instant, like, like instant stop, turn around, you know. But like, yeah, that is better if you're trying to play at like a higher level, you know. But this is better if you're just playing casually, right? Like if you're not, if you don't care to like really get into the game or whatever, and you're just like having fun, like playing casually, which is what most people do, then this, this will feel better, right? Like obviously. The difference is you can actually have both. Like, you can have a game that feels like this to move around while having it be snappy. You know what I mean? You can do both. Like, lots of games do both. Like, 3 Make does both, I think. From the last time I played it, it does both. It, I don't have this problem in 3 Make. Um, last of Us, I think, does both pretty well. I actually haven't played it, but, you know, from the looks of it. Or, like, you know, a game like Vanquish. Or, there's, like, lots of games that have, like, smooth animations and stuff, but you know, have snappy type movement controls. Last one's pretty clunky. Yeah, I figured. Two is a lot better. That makes sense. But yeah, I mean, I blame Last of Us for everything. So it's Last of Us's fault. But yeah, I mean, there are examples of games where you have... Oh, Dead Space Remake is the perfect example. Like, Dead Space Remake's animations look amazing. You know, they feel great. But it's 100% responsive. You know what I mean? Like when you're playing Dead Space Remake, there is no like second and a half turnaround animation. Like you just turn around, right? But like the game looks good. It's not about the game being competitive in the Sponge Speedrunning game. It's about experience and realism. Yeah, but what I'm saying is you can have that experience and the realism while also not taking away from people who want to play the game well. Also just like having the game have good movements will make the experience better for a lot of players. Because it like just having the movement be better will make the gameplay more fun. You know? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to have good movement for your game to sell well, like GTA's movement's dog shit, but like, you know, you could have it look good and also feel good. But like, that's a really small nitpick. Like that movement nitpick is 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 like a nitpick. Like I, I don't think most people will have that problem or even feel that way at all, which is fine. I mean, the game's not made for me to like play it at a super high level, but I wish it did. I mean, it's also realistic that you uh, turn on the spot if not moving. You do a small loop whenever you turn around, then you just turn and pivot in place, yeah. I mean like, the realistic aspect of the conversation doesn't make any sense to me because it's like, yes, when you're being chased by a 10 foot super soldier that can only be hurt when it's frozen by liquid nitrogen, uh, what the way you turn around needs to be like realistic, you know, like that just doesn't make any fucking sense to me. That's just stupid. Like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? It's like, how about you just whatever feels good, you know?
Yeah, I mean, the two giant infants with Plagas coming out of their backs. Not the most realistic thing ever, but you know, God forbid Leon turns around quickly, you know, like. I don't know. But yeah, like I said, it's a small nitpick. It's like something that 99% of people will not care about, but I think 100% of people would benefit from it being changed. I mean, I don't, I'm not advocating for them to change it post launch. Like they're not going to do that. But, you know, I think that it would make the gameplay experience better for every player while not taking away anything from the game, you know? thing I'm noticing about the game is it makes the movement stand out is that the problem rooms where you have a lot of enemies like the double garrador room is rather the strategy revolves around constantly moving yeah so you end up with like a lot of problems with the movement like that room was maybe the room really frustrating for me because you have to sprint around like the whole time because there's so many enemies and the more you have to move during combat the more it becomes a problem that you don't have that much control you know it's the same thing as like the Gyaradors are also a perfect example of why Bloom is ass because, you know, you're playing the game and if you can't shoot the enemies because the RNG is fucking you because of Bloom, you know, that becomes a little bit frustrating when the enemies have a really small weak spot. Yeah, oh, nice Steel Devil. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I read YouTube chat. How are you, David? Bad remake. The should run on all fours for maximum speed and realism. True. But like you see that? I just wanted to turn around and run back, but instead Leon does this huge ass fucking half circle. It's like why? Does it really make the game better? Like, no, I don't think so. I don't think like the visual impact of him turning around in a half circle instead of just turning around is like just, you know, enough to justify not being able to fucking turn around. I mean, we got plenty of time to talk about. We got like four minutes before this elevator gets here, so. If anyone wants to argue with me about this, that's cool. I wouldn't even argue that it looks better. I mean, like, I think you could argue it looks better. It's like a subjective thing, but. I think that's a person by person thing. I, I was like, whatever, you know. My point is like, it, could, it would still look good if he turned on a dime. It wouldn't look bad, you know? Yeah, I do, Moe. But I just quick turn because quick turns are dog shit and take longer than turning around even with the slow ass turn animation. The quick, like, people would always be like, well, just use the quick turn button. It was like, well, the quick turn button is well, for one, if the camera's facing the wrong way, it literally does nothing. It just flicks the camera around. And then for two, the quick turn animation is longer than the turnaround animation. It's like, it's not like, you know, you're running forward and then you're gonna run into an enemy and then do a quick turn, turn 180, like, no. I guess it serves the purpose of the point they were trying to make, make with the remake. They wanted to show effort and they gave it thought. I think they overthought it though. Like for me, it's like gameplay over everything else always. I mean, quick turns are fine. I just is like, they're slow. Like you're not gonna use a quick turn mid combat. And if you're like, if a Gyarador is running into you, you're not gonna like, okay, I'm gonna press the quick turn button now, you know? 
Like he's gonna fucking cut your head off. Perhaps the movement being so is not solely because of realism, but consequences and difficulty and actually choosing the path that you choose to, to run. I like that is an argument that I would willing to be accept to accept. Like you know, maybe they just wanted to make the game harder by making you more committed to the movement. But like personally, I just think that's like a really bad way to make the game harder. Like there are like a ton of different ways that you can make the game harder and like make you be more committed to whatever you're doing that would make the game like feel good to play you know also i think that people who get really good at the game will be too good at the game is a bad reason to not make something masterable you know what i mean like like we don't want to make it so that your bullets go where you aim because if we do that then some people will never miss a shot and the game will be too easy it's like what, so you want to punish people who actually like get good at the aiming mechanics by making them random instead of rewarding them for being good at the game? Like that just doesn't make sense to me. But I've always been on the side of like, you know, reward people for getting good at your game. But all of my favorite games are games where you are rewarded for being good at the game. Like, for example, the entire point of the style system in Devil May Cry is to incentivize you to get better at the game. And the game rewards you for being better at the game. And, like, the whole point is being better at the game, right? So, like, imagine you're playing Devil May Cry and then, like, one of the mechanics is just random because, you know, if you don't get... If you're too good at this mechanic, then, well, then the game's too easy. Like, like imagine Royal Guard's random because, you know, if you get really good at Royal Guard, then you'll perfect parry everything and then the game's easy. It's like, well, isn't that kind of the point of the game? Like you want, like you want the player to get good at the game, right? But I guess it's just a different type of game, right? Like maybe you're not supposed to be good at RE4. You know, it's just supposed to be an experience, which is fine. I mean, not every not every game is built to be like masterable, right? But that's what I like about games. So when it's not, it disappoints me. That's all. Actual randomness works the other way as well. It can be done close to the ceiling of the floor and the floor gap. Games aren't usually made for high school players as they'll play anyways and the secondary for larger audiences outside of the game of competitive Ugh. there's a secondary larger audience outside of competitive games well yeah obviously that's what i'm saying but like my whole thing is like well you can make it fair at like a competitive level for the people that want it to be that way and it won't be uh it won't worsen the experience for people that just play it normally right like like devil may cry 3 is not Less fun to play casually because Royal Guard makes you an unstoppable god. Right? Like, just because you can put 200, 300 plus hours into playing Royal Guard in DMC3 and then become an unstoppable beast does not make the game any less fun to play for regular players. You know what I mean? Just like, you know, having good movement in the game or like no bloom on the shots wouldn't make the game any less fun for regular players. It would just make the game better for people that do want to make the game, like to play the game at a high level. You know what I mean? That's kind of my perspective. I feel like you are only excluding people by spending more dev time and resources to make things not competitive. Cause like Bloom is a mechanic that only exists if you put in a lot of extra code to make it exist. You know what I mean? Like. It's not like you put guns in a game and it just comes with bloom and it's like, you know, you could make it consistent if you want the high level players to like it and they're just like, no, that's too much work. It's the opposite. They put an extra effort to make it not good for competitive players, which makes it feel kind of slighty, if that makes sense. Like, 
It makes it feel like they did it on purpose so that you can't get good at it. Rather than like they made a decision to make it better for casual players. You know what I mean? Because it actually is harder to make the game play worse like that than to make it play good. It takes more effort, not less. My inventory is tighter than Ashley's pants right now. Badge of DMC head bloom. That'd be pretty funny. So like, this shit is full. But I want resources. And my bitrate is tanking right now. Sorry, hold on. I'm gonna wait till my internet chills out. I'm dropping a million frames. Okay, I'm back. Thanks for sticking around if you did. But yeah, I mean, everyone that knows the boom is a thing dislikes it. It's like DA, you know, like DA, like, yes, in theory, it makes the game more enjoyable for more people. But in actual, like, execution, the instant that you know it exists, you just really dislike it. I just want to put the guns down, please. I'm dead. Does remake have DA? It does, yeah. Hey Tyler, hey Shot Ninja. What's DA? Difficulty adjustment? So like... I just died there. This game has DA, so now when I continue from that death, the game is now easier. Enemies are less aggressive, they don't hit as hard, stuff like that. Item drops are better. It's super dumb. I mean, in theory, casually, it makes the game more fun. But it only works if you don't know it exists. Right, like as soon as you know a game has DA, it becomes unfun. Because then it's like, okay, well, I'm not even beating the game the way you're supposed to because I died, so now it's easier for no reason. Or you're like, well, this is dumb because I wanted to play it on the hard mode, but the hard mode doesn't think I'm good enough for the hard mode, so. Somewhere to the Dead Space director, I guess. I don't I don't know enough about the details of how that works, so no. So it's not stupid since most casual people won't know about it. Not I mean, okay, yes in theory, but also no in execution. Because you know, a most I would say like you know, 90% of people that play the game won't know it, but like an ever increasing minority of people will know it. Now, so the whole point of DA is that like you get to a section, right? And you've been getting your ass kicked in the previous sections. The game makes the next section slightly easier so that you have a better play experience in theory, right? Like, the next section is a little bit easier, so you don't get your ass beat as much, so you... Like, when you're having fun in a video game, it's because you're in the zone of proximal development, which is basically a fancy psychological word for you're being pushed, but not so hard that it's unfun, and not so little that it's boring. You know what I mean? 
Like if the game is too easy, it's not fun. If a game is too hard, it's not fun. So what DA seeks to do is find where the fun is and adjust the game so that it's always fun. Even if you're getting your shit kicked in or if you're doing really well. But like if you know that that's happening and you know how it works, then it becomes really unfun. Because then you feel like you got cheated out of like overcoming some experience. You can apply the same uh, logic to Bloom. Sleepy casual players will start to notice Bloom and then start to get annoyed by it. Yes, but Bloom doesn't have to have a psychological phenomenon for it to be annoying because there is a built-in thing in the game that shows you that it's annoying and that's the shooting gallery. I didn't know how annoying Bloom was until I played the shooting gallery and then I realized, holy shit, and now I can't unsee it and now I realize all of the shooting is terrible. Yeah, like I think DA robs you of potential growth in a room. I gotta like down them here, I think. Otherwise, this is not gonna work. Lewis, you're not distracting your guy. Come on. Bashy, they did Oh, excuse me, sir. Or did he not fall in? <laughs> Hello? You have to stun him. But he was standing on the spot. New teleport move, never before seen from the original. He will always teleport away. Wow. That's awesome. Smiley face. I thought he was, well, he was stunned originally, but not long enough, I guess. It is very stupid. Now he's stunned, but he's not. Thanks for the hanging there, brothers. I mean, I love it, Jason. I, but I also like the original better. For similar reasons that you do. We were just having a big long conversation about this actually. Like, I think it's like a 9 out of 10. It's a phenomenal game. 
bad. I think I also like the original better. There we go. Yeah, this game focuses on the first playthrough of a replayability. For me, the gameplay is horrible. I like the gameplay. I think it's good, but, but yeah, I mean, this is this game is a, it's a modern game, you know. People nowadays they play games one time and then they never play them again. So I, you know, like, I can't really blame them for making a game that is built to be played one time. You know what I mean? Like, that's just the industry. Like, people don't like to play games more than once, so. Sort of stay away from me. I should have lured him into the middle and then shot the thing. That's fine though. Is it really that people don't want to play games more than once? I mean, most people don't play games more than once. It's true. Like, most people don't even finish games that they play. Like if you look at achievements, like achievement collection rates in games, you'll see that like half the people that play, let's say like The Last of Us, never got the final achievement for beating the game. Yeah, like you, you look at achievement lists for like beating the game and shit for most games and you'll see that most people play the game like 25% of the way through maybe. Like less than half of the people that buy the game will beat the game so that incentivizes like for game designers that incentivizes them to try and make your first experience with the game the most important aspect of the game right like it doesn't really matter if it has like a really high skill ceiling or a ton of replayability if it's a single player game because well most people aren't going to play it more than one time in fact most people that play it aren't going to play it all the way through so getting people to play it at least once all the way through is like usually the goal for most single player games but I come from a time back in my day when we used to play games because they were fun and we played the same games a hundred times in a row because we didn't have memory cards. We left our consoles on all night. Speaking of old games, this is that part. So related. I don't like that old. Yeah, I turned 24 like, three days ago or something like that. Minecart's better in the remake because it's fucking hilarious. Well, ironically enough, that's why Nintendo is such game great game developers is because they focus 
almost entirely on the gameplay mechanics and replayability. All of their games are bangers because of it. Like Donkey Kong Country. There's no cinematic carrying Ashley to the end of the game sections in Donkey Kong Country. You know what I mean? Also, I totally forgot to turn off the end game. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, the problem with Nintendo games is Nintendo fans. And also, like, they're usually not very fun speedruns. Because they're, like, insanely competitive and always have some bullshit in them. Like, I love DKC, but I don't think I'd ever speedrun that shit. I would love to speedrun Super Mario World, though. That game is a banger. There's no merchant harder than New Game Pro. New Game Pro took you like eight hours to get to the cabin. I think it depends on what loadout you use. That's true, but you gotta factor in that games are getting longer and the age of gamers are not what they used to be. The ratio used to be like 20 to 40. I mean, it, it still is like 20 to 40. Like, my YouTube analytics say that my demographic is basically between like 19 and 35. But yeah, I mean, games are getting longer. Why is Peter for remake? Yep. Give me like a day and a half. Well, Scooby Doo, would you speed on that? Honestly, I've thought about doing it again. 100% calling my name. I love to learn Hundo. Well, I mean, the OGRE games also sucked, so there's that. Well, I was thinking about routing all achievements for this game, for the content. I forgot to shoot. OGRE games are the best. Well, see, I'm like a big gameplay freak, so OGRE games have like zero gameplay. It's just like holding W the whole time, you know? All the boss fights boil down to like run to one side of the room and dump all your ammo and hope you don't die. See, I just don't, the horror doesn't do anything for me. It just kind of bores me. I want to blow shit up and like drop kick people and like fly across the map and shit. You good, Chainsaw Guy? You depressed or something? Bro, wake up. It's, bro, come on. 
I know I said that horror games aren't fun, but like... I think you took that personally. current moment. See, yeah, nothing scares me. Especially because I stream most of my play, like time playing video games. It's like impossible to scare me while I'm streaming. Because I'm like streaming, you know, <laughs> like Half the time I'm not even looking at the game. That's a base lot. I know it's not an American origin game, but why is the default in the US not English? Well, you see, Tyler. That's because it is the default in the US. I'm just playing in Japanese because the US, because uh, the English voice acting is terrible. Oh. I get it, I get it. I should kill them. I can't just run fast. I don't know. You listen to Ada and tell me that's not the voice actor. It sounds like she's recording on a blue Yeti in a room with no fucking furniture in it. Why is it not Leon? This is Leon. Wow. Um, thank you. The juice box, that's the prime. Do that. I'm playing as Leon. Hunk mask, villain outfit. That's V actually? No, V cannot do anything this cool. Not in a million years. If he used a gun, it'd be for only one thing. And that would be granting my Christmas present gift. Granting my wishes for my Christmas present. That'd be to remove himself from DMZ5. Permanently. In Minecraft. Obviously. Now, there's a ton of different costumes in the remake. Well, a ton is kind of a stretch. There's a lot of different costumes. 
<laughs> is Lewis just getting fucked by nobies or what? Pro is harder than hardcore. Lewis is just getting annihilated by nobies. Hey, uh, Lewis, could you hurry up? Thank you. At least Lewis can't die. Yeah, thank God for that. Dude, if Lewis could die, that'd be awful. Alright, well, I have a ton of knives. That's good. Bitch. Is the normal knife? I don't want to break it. I say that for the other Crowther fight, because that Crowther fight's harder. I don't want to use this knife, but it auto equipped it. Where the fuck did you go? Did you hit me so hard there? Yeah, well, he did the flip, and that usually means he's gonna go behind me, but. It would be realistic soon and getting a bonus, planning on getting a PC with that bonus. Any recommendations, or should I just. Uh, anything I should watch out for when doing so? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it used to be that you would only ever want to build it yourself, but nowadays it's so hard to get a good graphics card that rebuilds are pretty good. Although that might be ending now, I don't know. PCs are weird. There's a couple of different philosophies when it comes to buying a PC. Like, do you want to never have to have a new PC again, never upgrade? Or are you looking for something like, what are you trying to play, right? Like, are you just going to play CS2 for the next 10 years? Or are you playing new single player releases that come out every year? Do you care about 1440p versus 1080p? Like, are you going to play at high frame rates? Are you going to stream? Like if you're just going to play CS2 for the next 10 years and whatever, then you don't need like a really, really high end PC. Like you probably wouldn't even need a 30 series card. But like you want to play new big single player games on release at 1440p at high frame rates like right now i'm playing re4 remake with high settings 1440p at 144 fps while streaming so i have like an insane computer i have like damn near the best shit on the market Is this the game like OG RE4? Yep. In fact, that's actually kind of the whole point. Believe it or not. Huh. 
Honestly, the reason I'm getting a PC is so I can play this remake and not have to buy an extra console every single time. Well, then you can, if you're getting a big bonus, I would say invest, get something nice, and then you won't have to upgrade for like 10 years. That would be my recommendation. You get yourself a 40 series card or like a high end 30 series card and like a processor that's going to match that and you'll be able to play games at 1440p at high frame rates on like medium settings for like five years at least. I have a 4080 to 5900X but it's going to cost you like if you're looking for like what I got, probably like over two grand for sure. How do you get the M4? Uh, you backtrack to the Ashley section as Leon. You can comfortably sink like 15 to 2,000 on it. Yeah, then you're chilling. You'll get something that'll last you like... 1080p, 60 FPS, like a decade, probably. <laughs> Unless there's some crazy innovations that come out or something. I'm so smart. It's because my brain is really smooth. All the information just goes right across the top. Yo, Bash, the stylish bottom. Thanks for the raid, bro, Chacho. I appreciate it. That hurt. I'm dead. Not dead. Thank you. Good that. I'm glad you found it useful. I'm not like the best ever PC guy, so definitely do your own research. But why did I just climb up that and not even use the ladder? How are you enjoying for make bash? Upper stream is good. Fuck it. Can't really afford the heals right now. That ball, the ball's coming. Can I put my balls in your jaws? I think the remake will take longer than the speedrun than the original? Definitely. Even when optimized for sure.
The remake is longer. There's more content. There's no Dimmon glitch. There are some skips, but nothing like in. Well, I guess one of the skips is pretty fucking big, actually, but it's not like insane or anything. The gate skip? Yeah, the wrecking ball gate skip is actually pretty huge. It's like probably legit like six minutes or something. That's like definitely bigger than any skip in RE4, but. Like the OG, I mean. Where's the, the dude? I didn't even see him. Oh my god. It's raining men. There he is. Hallelujah. Fuck your grabber. I got fucked by somebody else. This archer, dude. This is what we like to call not good. I think that's the technical term. I can't. I need to save the day. <laughs> Only I could shoot, I should have reloaded the shotgun during that. Ow, why did I not reload the shotgun? I'm trolling. Please let me shoot the shotgun. Okay, or not. I, yeah, I trolled. I didn't, didn't really the shotgun, but that was fine. Hey waifu, me and my band are doing a show next Wednesday. We're playing Smells Like Team Spirit. Any advice on not being nervous? Don't smell like Team Spirit. Bad smell. Oh, there's three shots and he's dead, okay. No, realistically though, actually, you're not trolling? That's awesome. Congrats, I hope you have fun. Just, uh, you've done it a million times. You've done it a million times. Just tell yourself you've done it a million times. Your first show? Yo, congrats. Just, you know, wake up in the morning and piss excellence. Just be the goat. You know? It's, it's all confidence, really. It's all it is. It's gotta understand that the consequences for messing up are very minuscule. And that you're a legend for even doing it.
Dude, shut up. Shut up! Oh. Yeah, also, like... Don't fret over little mistakes and shit. Literally no one can tell if you make a mistake. Like, if you, if you make a mistake, don't let it shatter your mental, just play it cool. It literally doesn't matter. No one will know. That, that's something that like really helped a lot when I was doing GDQ runs is understanding that like, okay, whether I literally get world record on stream right now or I play like complete dog shit and I'm limping half the game, it does not matter. As long as I am just play it cool and like be confident, everyone will think the run went amazing. Sometimes I think your mistakes are on purpose. What mistakes? I don't make mistakes. You're insinuating that I make mistakes? Yeah, unless they're like another runner, there's like absolutely zero chance that they are gonna know that something's a mistake unless you say it's a mistake. So just, you know, have fun and just, same, it's the same exact thing with music. Like, no one is gonna know if you make a mistake. So just, it doesn't matter. So just don't worry about it. Ouch. Like that death was intentional to lower my DA so the next boss fight is easier. Copium. Like I actually intentionally left that area with no help right into an archer section where I have no way of shooting the archers. Just don't think about it too much. Ouch. Can't even run on those things. This sucks. But I, the sway is so bad because I'm hurt. But no mercy pro even be possible? I don't know. Maybe. Your damage output is really low, so you need like an insane amount of ammo for Salazar. Well, whatever you feel the most comfortable playing. Also, just over-prepare. Like, just practice a lot. Build your muscle memory and stuff. There's no downside. It's all mental, though. Just decide it's going to go well. Like, I, I know it sounds dumb, but like... Just be like, yeah, this is gonna go great. I'm gonna fucking kill it. That always helped me. Last week. Damn. Bloom moment. Bloom moment. How's the marsh going? Good. Or to save and then don't use the herbs. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's the move. It's going. It's uh, harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm oh, that's the auto save. I'm glad that I did it on standard instead of hardcore, like I was thinking of doing.
Fuck the game, it's awesome. Say my name correctly and I'll donate next stream. Des MK2. Like Mortal Kombat 2. Des Mortal Kombat 2. Alright, you owe me money now. I'll see you next stream. Nah, it's Mortal Kombat. I'll take a gamble. Ouch. Take a gamble. It's either Mortal Kombat or it's Mark II. I had the second part right. So it was Mortal Kombat. But it's not Dez? How the fuck? Dez? Nuts? Got him? Hello, Bloom! Are oh, they gonna put a remake on the Switch? I... I think the Switch would explode. Gotta love Bloom, dude. Well, D's is two E's. I couldn't do D's without getting a warning. Damn. YouTube be like striking down the D's nuts jokes in the name? That's rough, dude. Like, I just, I don't have any inventory. I want to make more sniper ammo. What's up, Jumbo? What do you think of the remake? It's great. I mean, it sucks, but it's great. Okay, I have about a bajillion and a half rifle rounds. I have the combat knife still? Yeah, I've been using the other knives instead. No scope though sucks. Set 91 big weeds for two minutes. Yo, SF. I can put this two months. For sure, that. I really like his JP voice. I want to stab him, so I should equip this knife. The other knife will like instantly break. Actually, no. I, I should equip this knife. Okay, yeah, it doesn't hurt them that much. We should definitely use the extra knives.
Come here, big boy. Oops, I didn't see that one. I love the music. Ooh. No way that hit me. I must have been standing just off the edge. That sucks. What? Where are you? Handgun ammo, heavy grenade this time. Heavy grenade's an L. Source is large, that can make me more. Not enough to get rid of that. But you know what I can do, right? I can reload the save until I get better drops. So that I can actually fit in my inventory. Like that. <laughs> XD. Store the shotgun. Storing is cheating. I'm not allowed to store. If I store, I can't get it back. It's the rules. Part of what makes the original no motion fun and difficult is the limited inventory space. If I just store the shotgun, then that's yeah, easy. Yeah, honestly, the remake dodge would have been really good. Ooh, that was close. Perfectly routed. Honestly, dude, like, filling my whole inventory with ammo for that and then just saving it all for this fight, like, probably was the only thing I could have done to beat this boss. Can I knife this? Did 
Damn, I downed him, but he fell off the map. Fuck me. Oh shit. He's definitely in his final phase. Yeah, Leon and JP is also a JoJo character. I forget which one. Oh shit. The heal down there, I want. Oh, it's the DMC5 Dante as well. That's cool. Pantera's pissed, dude. Plantera is pissed. Woo! I think there he would have died actually. I think I agree. I'll try to get the shotgun shot in. Yeah, I did. Nice, GG. That was rough. Ammo cow, I used every single rifle round. OBS, soul compress. Yeah, so that was definitely the move. What is the hardest part of the game in my opinion? I don't know. Depends on what loadout you're using and stuff. How's the remaster compared to the original? Uh, well, the remaster came out in 2013, um, and it's pretty solid. Definitely the best way to play the game, the PC port. If you mean the remake, it's great. I'm loving it. 14. Hey, right. It's good. It doesn't feel as good to play, but it's a better overall experience. I know, I was just giving you shit. I knew you meant the remake. I'm just an asshole. Don't mind me. It's pork loin. We close to the end? Yeah. We're about to go to island. How's Mercs? It's not in yet. It comes out in like two weeks, I think. Are you using the black tail? I'm not. Red nine. Maybe it looked like the black tail though. I don't know. 
I'm actually not mad at all that Mercs come out in two weeks because they'll keep the game relevant for longer. Yeah, I agree, honestly. As long as they don't patch the speedrun stuff before Mercs is added. We're about to reach Waifu's favorite section. Don't listen to anything he says about it, but I swear, it's his favorite. What's the primal knife? It's the unlimited knife. You unlock it by getting all of the Salazar statues. You gonna try out uh, Mercs when it gets released? Yeah, for sure. Definitely. Far Kong is a pretty good luck. Yeah, out of what I had, it was pretty solid. Unfortunately, you can't do Ashley accessories if you turn off the extra treasure, which is annoying, but. So far, the damage drop off hasn't been too crazy, at least on standard. I thought that the damage would be like just terrible, but the shotgun still stuns in one hit most of the time, at least. I'm just really hoping that I could play as the Mercs characters in the main game. Please lord. But let, let Razor make that mod. JJ, chill. Chill. Part looks very similar. Unfortunately, this is one of the sections of the game that I was really hoping wouldn't exist in the remake, but yeah, here we are. Although it's a lot better in the remake than it is in the OG. Also, I'm like pretty solid at it now, so. Not bad. I've ever made a mod. Yeah, I've made a couple of like user interface mods for DMC4. Where I like did all of the decompiling and everything myself and everything. Like made the textures and stuff. The speedrun practice. Now we're doing a no merchant challenge run. No merchant new game. Just running through that section is the best way to do it, especially when I don't have shit that's gonna kill anyone. Bloom, save me. Bloom, save me. This is why I didn't heal. Because I knew I was going to get fucking wrecked in this room. Not the point blank rocket. Don't do it. And then you can destroy JJ's minigun. Yeah, it's great. He can like refill it, but it takes him a little bit. You can like loop him. This thing made Island look perfect visually. I will say this is the most visually impressive of RE Engine game, in my opinion. It doesn't really have that wet look that all the other ones do. It's great. How's the speedrun? I have no idea. I haven't done one. 
Well, for another couple days, probably. Good evening, Safari. Howdy. Do you want me to bring him? It to GDQ the 360 by the way I'm guessing yeah yeah but you want to well you still want to buy it right that's the easiest way then we don't have to ship it oh perfect man No, I probably just forgot you responded. Slash wanted to double check. I don't know. You know this game has DA? Yes. Does it apply to all difficulties? Also, yes. Unfortunately. Difficulty adjustment. Okay, Ashroth. Bring out. Oh, I had to evade twice there. Usually he stops after the first one. Did stealth kill those guys? I don't want to use my knife. I can't repair my knife because I can't use the merchant. I'm going to redo that so I don't take damage. I will when I do it, Stormy. Does OG have DA on pro? No. Uh... Pro doesn't have DA, DLG. It's part of the reason it's such a good speed run. It's like hyper consistent. Oh, he's lost. He's getting looped. I fucking love free loops. Great cereal. Yeah, that one was much better. <laughs> you think they thought about speedruns at all with the difficulty? Probably not. Hopefully not. Yeah, I was thinking about speedrunning is kind of cringe, honestly. For me, the perfect relationship the speedrunners can have with the developers is that developers don't know that speedrunners exist and speedrunners don't know that developers exist. That way, no one gets in each other's hair. There's no drama. You just play the game. Have fun. If it's a good speedrun, it's a good speedrun. If it's not, it's not. Nothing ever gets patched. Now, see, having a developer be a speedrunner is not always a good thing. 
fact, it could lead to even more drama. Like, integration is not good, in my opinion. Holy shit, you're tanky. Like, for example, we had a speedrunner who was a developer in Dead Space Remake, the one that just came out. They're in the Discord sharing strats and stuff. Really cool. Giving us some insider info, blah, blah, blah. But they're like, yeah, you know, we won't patch anything that doesn't affect casual play and blah, blah, blah. And we're like, okay, that's cool, man. All good. And, uh, and then, you know, like a couple days later, I'm routing some all achievements stuff and find this glitch that's really useful for all achievements. And then one day it's just patched. And I ask them like, yo, did you patch this? They're like, yeah, we patched that. I'm like, well, that's crazy. Cause like. Yeah, said you wouldn't patch anything. That's wild. There have been like many, many instances of developers like being like, hey, speedrunners, like tell us about the stuff you found in our game. We won't patch it, we promise. You know, we just want to know. And it, okay, and you tell them and then they patch it. Next, next update, shit like that. It's just like, well, Well, see, here's the thing. Unless you're the fucking CEO director of the publishing oh, yeah. company that made the game, you don't call the shots. Midnight Fox, big weaves for five months. Midnight Fox, thanks for the five months, dude, with the primer. Thank you, thank you. Like, unless you are the highest tier CEO of the production company that owns the game, like, you don't have authority to say, like, we're not going to patch this. Or, like, we won't make any decisions like that. Like... It's just not something that you have direct authority over. Like if someone higher up says like, okay, like we're patching this, then you're patching it. Then you can do. And the only way to like, you know, make that not be as big of an issue is for developers to just not be involved in speedrunning at all. It's kind of like a weird, like people, I don't know. It's weird to say, and it feels weird to say that like, I want to exclude people from speedrunning, which I don't like, yeah, like if devs want to speedrun, like I'm not going to stop anybody, but I do think it's it causes way more drama when devs are involved. Like there's so many countless examples of devs being involved and then there being a bunch of drama because the devs are involved. And like at the end of the day, as long as there's no crazy DRM shit, you can always just down patch. So it doesn't matter, right? Like with Dead Space remake, when I do all achievements runs, I down patch. It doesn't matter. There's only been one instance of a game ever that I've ran where you can't really down patch. And in that game, you can. You just have to be playing on a two PC setup to be able to stream it. But like, if it's me personally, it's like, I'd rather, I don't know, like by there being devs in the speedrunning community, that just gives more information about the tech and stuff that's found in speedrunning to the company, and then the company can make executive decisions to remove it. Yeah, like, even if the developer themselves is like, you know, doesn't care and has no intentions to patch anything, like, they might be under some sort of, like, authority where they have to report bugs and stuff. And so they report the bug that they find because they're in the speedrunning community and then that shit gets patched or whatever because the higher ups say that they want to or whatever. It's just like, you know, there's a lot of circumstances where it is not necessarily in the control of the person who is even like involved directly. Oh, it's easier on standard. I see. For some reason, I thought it was three, like hardcore.
Sometimes I just got a big list of bugs that someone's got to fix. Might not even intend to nerf speedrun tech. Oh, for sure. I mean, I think that's most of the time what it is. Like, they're not like, hey, fuck you, speedrunners. We hate you in particular. It's just like, you know, there's a bug that could potentially interact, like, interfere with casual gameplay. So, therefore, we're going to fix it. Or, you know, not even necessarily they could interfere with casual gameplay, but like, just there is a bug. So, let's fix it, you know? Because a lot of developers don't like there being bugs in their code because they kind of take it as like a personal insult like or like a flaw of their code which is understandable but it's like you know other people might very much be enjoying that bug which is my thing is like i don't care if devs patch stuff as long as you're able to down patch easily because you know as long as you can down patch it literally just doesn't matter like you just you will play on the down patch version anyways if it's faster. There has only been one instance ever in my speedrunning of like almost seven years now where you could not down patch. And there were still ways to do it. Just very shitty, unfortunate ways. And that's Halo Infinite. And that was done completely on accident. It just because it also was a multiplayer game, there was some shenanigans. The Halo Infinite thing is really weird because basically like there's a news feed in the game and the news feed checks what version of the game you're on. Excuse me, sir. I want the key card. The news feed checks what version of the game you're on um, so that it can update the news feed. And when it does this, if you're on the wrong version of the game that don't correspond with the servers, it crashes your game. Uh, so if you're down patched while connected to the internet, the game crashes. Every time you go to the main menu. And for some reason, if uh, the game checks to see if you're connected to the internet to do this check for the news feed, but the way it checks that is it checks Windows itself. So you can't firewall block it. If, if you have your PC on and Windows is connected to the internet, it will crash your game. So the only way to be able to play on a down patch version is to... Fucking... Memes, sorry. Doing too many things at once. Is to have your PC be offline. Which is really unfortunate, but that's not done on purpose. It's just a, like a side effect of the news feed, unfortunately. But yeah, so like the solution to that is play with your computer disconnected from the internet, which does solve the problem. Like if you want to run Halo Infinite on that patch, then you could play like that. You just can't stream while doing that, obviously, or have a two PC streaming setup. So that way you can stream from one PC while the other one's disconnected to the internet. But in the, that was not something that was done intentionally by the developers or anything. At least from my understanding. I don't know, like when I did my GDQ run, there were a bajillion and a half developer uh, donations and they were all super cool. They even told me like specifically that like, yeah, we wanted to not patch something, but the higher ups told us that we had to. Where's the wrench? You do. Can I collateral these? I don't think so. French. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Like, as long as you can down patch, then it's not a big deal. Like, People don't understand this, but 99% of speedruns are played on down patch versions. Like, think about the most popular speedruns there are. RE4 is up there. That's not a down patch version, but... 
Most speedrunners do play on down patch versions of RE4. Simply because that's what the mod support is on. So like SRT and stuff like that only exists on down patch version of RE4. Super Mario 64 is played on the old version of Super Six SM64. Like you're playing like Japanese 1.0. That's why BLJs exist. Like BLJs are patched out in the Shindo version, which is like the version that came out not very long after the original game, you know? The Shindo version came out like a year later or something, or not even. Like BLJ and SM64 are like some of the most popular things in speedrunning, but that's a down patch too. So it's really common. Then you can down patch for speedrunning. Most speedrunning you have to down patch. There's a separate category sometimes, but like, so here's the thing. You never know when a game is being done being patched. So in order to make it competitive, you just run on whatever the fastest version is, Jumbo. So think about it this way, right? Like, let's say you make a leaderboard for the game, right? And you're like, okay, we're gonna run on the newest patch of the game. When the game comes out, Obviously there's going to be many patches, right? So every time there's a new patch, all of the previous runs on the leaderboard are invalid because there is tech and other stuff that you can't do on the newer versions that are in those old versions. So every time there's an update, you have to wipe the whole leaderboard, which is very anti-competitive. When that happens, no one wants to run the game. Now you would think, okay, well, you know, surely years after the game comes out, there will be points in time where, you know, you don't have to worry about that because the game won't update anymore, right? But then you have cases like Left 4 Dead 2, which 13 years later got an update that patched all the speedrun stuff and added a new campaign. So it's like, what, 13 years of speedrunning? You just like flush it down the drain and just delete everything and start over? It's like, no one wants to do that. So every, you always just play on whatever the fastest version is, no matter what it is. Like, sometimes the fastest version's on console, sometimes it's on PC, you know, sometimes it's an old patch, sometimes it's current patch. You just play whatever's faster. Generally. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, there are current catch, patch categories for some games. Like, every time a new substantial patch comes out for Minecraft, they add a new category, but... <laughs> That leaderboard's insane, so. But yeah, I mean, so like as long as you can down patch, then yeah, that's what people are going to do always. Now, the problem with that is a lot of the times it's impossible or insanely hard to down patch on consoles, which means that most consoles are not viable for speedruns for most games. Which is just kind of how the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. But console speedrunning is almost never competitive anyways. Just because there's not a, there's not there's no practice tools, you know, you don't have cheat tools to practice with, you can't use emulated save states to practice, you you don't have mouse and keyboard, so like third and first person shooters aren't as fun to play, you have aim assist, so it's not as competitive. Like there's a million and a half reasons why console speedrunning isn't as popular. Speaking of console speedrunning, uh, we're gonna do a skip. There are skips in this game. Check this shit out. So when you aim a scope in this game, you can walk backwards and your hitbox gets like pushed inside stuff. So you can like look down on the ground and aim and walk backwards into the wall. And when you let go, you like your model gets back out, right? So what you could do is you can look down, aim, let go, then spin and spam the interact button. If you do it right,
You gotta have high, high DPI. It's fucking hard. It's actually not that bad, but... I haven't practiced it very much. I think Ashley is trolling me, actually. You'll end up on the other side, and you'll hit the interact prompt from the other side and open the door. Skip the whole section. All right, Ashley, I need you to come over here. I feel like you're pushing me. That scope does seem harder. I've done it with this scope, I think, but with the other scope, it's easier. There we go. Yeah, Ashley was pushing me. Boom. Skips the wrecking ball. That's like a six minute time save, probably. Unfortunately, there are other skips. Well, that's not unfortunate. What is unfortunate about the other skips is you can't do them in your immersion because you don't get a scope until just now. But that's like the biggest skip in the game. That's probably bigger than any skip in OG RE4 as well. It's really convenient too because this, this part sucks. It's boring. Yeah, it's really hard on a controller, but you can do it on a controller. It's easier with the other scope. I mean, on an individual skip, yeah, honestly. Funny. Damn, Ashley's cute in Japanese. How the hell did you do that? Did you not just watch the last, like, two minutes of the stream? I just explained it. <laughs> <laughs> Just explain exactly how you do it. Go watch the VOD. I undoubtedly think that will be patched, but I'm hoping it doesn't get patched until after Burks is added because I would like to be able to do Burks runs with skips like that. Ideally. At some point. You just came in? Okay, then go watch the VOD. I just explained it. I did like a full explanation. I'm not offended. I just... I don't want to do it again. How are we doing tonight? We're doing good. How are you? I'm assuming on New Game Plus, you don't keep key items. I'm assuming you don't keep key items that you don't sell. I don't know. I actually have never done New Game Plus. I don't know where to go now. I'm lost. I've only played this game twice. This way? Yeah. Tried to save small keys for New Game Plus and it did not carry over. This is so sad. Dude, he's thick. Oh my god. Let me look at that on the infrared scope. Yep. He's hot. Oh my god. My inventory is full. I need one more gunpowder. Are you kidding me? Bitch. I wish I didn't throw away the grenades now. I wish I did the other stuff first.
Do not want to miss that gunpowder. Look alive, rookie. All right, I have three knives. My main knife is half broken. I want to save the main knife for the final phase. I want to save the main knife for the final phase so that it does the most damage. Probably going to want to use some sniper rounds here. This game's scarier than OGRE4? I don't know, I'm not really scared by video games. You're asking the wrong person. Crowds are still dunked on by the knife. Uh, I mean, it's the best option, but it doesn't like annihilate them like it does in the OG. Why are you limping, Leon? Run, bitch. What was that? Me dying, that's what that was. Should try it. I'm fucking Harry Potter, the boy who lived. I missed a free knife, yeah, I know. I missed the parry. Okay, hello, hi, nice to meet you. Where the fuck did you come from, bitch? I still don't know where he comes from there. Above, I guess? I got some magic. <laughs> I'm remembering where the turrets are at least this time around. No typewriter here on standard. Okay. Finished handgun only no merchant under eight hours unassisted. I'm so happy to use guns again. <laughs> nice dude. GG.
A bear trap here. Nope. Yep. Yeah. It's fine. Helpage. I missed. Damn, I fucked him up right there. Six slash. Six slash, Leon. I'm fucking him up right now. Damn, I annihilated that phase. Sick. Hunk is crazy. Hunk is wild, dude. Actually, that's perfect. Because the YouTube comments keep asking me to do a hunk run in RE4. And my next YouTube video will be me doing this run. Which looks like a hunk run. Hunk doesn't use the merchant. This is not even a special run. Hunk just doesn't use the merchant. What's up, City Hunter? Howdy. Later, Silent One. Have a good night. I want to equip with a better knife here. The wombo combo. I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. I just lunge so much further on pro. Wow, I used so much of my knife, holy shit. I hope it did damage. Still have durability on the knife? Not anymore. I was saving it for this. Oh my god, the stinger. He's insane. 
Dante, chill. Hey, you can't parry that. I'm not gonna use the knife with this. My knife, bitch. Ouch. I think you're meant to face take the sinners? No, I don't think so either. But if you get hit by the first one, you get hit by the second one. Oh, there's a knife there. Oh, I'm not dead. I need to not run away. I need to just stand there and fight. Like, if I try to run, then I can't parry when he attacks. Parrying his attacks is hard. Also, it breaks the knife. Oh, my stream went down. Sick. Back. Again? Really? Come on. You can do it, OBS. There's the green again. Now we're chilling. There you go. Small F. My internet service provider is being a real cock today. Thanks, Cox. Crazy. Uh, yes, you're right. I really should practice this for night only. I like. Ooh, it's so annoying. Like what? I don't know what you're supposed to do because, like, if it's grab attack. You have to run away from. But it's like comes out so fast. I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to run away from it unless you can duck it. Is this just professional practice right now? No, this is uh, reading practice. We're practicing to learn how to read the stream title. Please join us. Run around in circles. Maybe the other way. Oh, that's the double green, that's right. Oh, 
Oh my god, the epic cheese? I feel it'll only even be possible. No. Not at all. Not even close, really. Bigger circles. I figured. I figured he'd already beat the game since he changed costume. I'm uh, once again asking you to please read the stream title. Must have hot trippy. Good. How are you? No hit run next, definitely not. I pressed R, but I was in the middle of the animation, so I got cucked. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough. Nice herp, let's herp. Okay, I'm too greedy. I go for max two stabs every time. And I'll be fine. I, for some reason, I feel like he's going to do a front flip there. What the title reads for you is exclusive late access speedrunner plays Far 4 Remake Hardcore. Well, that's not what it says for literally anyone else, so. Unless it changed when my stream went down, but new game, no merchant standard. That was my stream title like four days ago. So unless you've had the tab open the entire time and never refreshed, then I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Ah, 
That's actually pretty base. I'm sorry for insulting. I would never have guessed that that was why, honestly. So my bad. Oh, the stinger is crazy. Okay, don't shoot at him. Just knife. Oh, he's faster. God, the movement is so shit in this game! It's so dog shit, like, can I please turn the way I want to turn? Instead of doing like a 16,000 year animation where I go the wrong way. Like, I just want to stab him and then run the other direction. That's it, that's all I want to do. Why is that literally impossible? Like, you see how I have to, like, run into him for, like, a whole second before I can run the other direction? That's peak game design right there. Knife is so fucking bad. It's not even bad, really. It's just the movement's bad, so it doesn't really supplement the knife very well. If I can get out of his range faster because I can control where I'm going, I don't even need the movement speed to be increased. I just need more control. Just let me actually control my movement instead of just being a fucking drunk Shaolin warrior or whatever the fuck it's called. Ladder cheese is definitely the move. I didn't know he recovered instantly from that. I wouldn't have jumped down. Oh. I have expected myself to die as soon as I landed on the top. Fun fact, you can't die on ladders.
or doing a jump down animation. This is hilarious. I found a cheese. Takes 12,000 years though. Oh my god, I was, okay, I swear I pressed the button. It would be a lot easier if I didn't have zero HP. So you got kicked out of bounds as you're climbing the shield. You got hit by the shield arm or you're climbing the ladder. The two hit every time. Ugh. Why is this chart actually kind of good? It is good. Same chart works for Sadler. Based. You take damage, but you can't die. So you have to do the danger HP, I guess. Okay, I didn't know he could do that. I thought that it had some range on it and I could outrun it, but no, 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 no. No, oh, you can jump across the whole goddamn arena. Okay. Alright. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like stabs do way less damage than slashes. Bro, can you just go stay in the center of the fucking arena so I can strafe you? Why didn't you keep the LE5? Because I didn't get it. Yeah, my inventory is tighter than Ashley's pants. That shit is always full. If I had the LE5, I wouldn't have room for literally anything else. I keep trying to like rail guard timing it. Doing it way too late. You can do it like super early. You don't have to like gamer time it. I love this game.
Since perfect parry stopped durability loss, it reduces it. It doesn't stop it. It'd be sick if it just stopped it. It's really cool. This is that Pratham. Oh, just getting fucked by like a six foot, 300 pound beast of muscle. How about you? Dude, I like can't even. Uh, do I just need to not attack at the start? That's so lame. I hate that. Like. <sighs> Why is the load screen so long? I can't even get one attack in. The movement is so slow. Like I, it's so, it's so unresponsive. I feel like I'm fucking trying to control movement at a nursing home. Everyone's just unresponsive, dude. Like. The plug has been pulled. <laughs> Meanwhile, Krauser can jump across the goddamn map with pinpoint accuracy, but Leon can't fucking run in a straight line. I mean, DMC5 doesn't have this issue. Dude, like, just instead of running in a half circle, like you're trying to fucking run the fitness gram pacer test, why don't you just turn around? Why don't you just run the direction I'm holding instead? How about that? Instead of like, just waving your ass in Krauser's face. I can't even run away from him, he just insta-fucked me. Okay, sick tracker. What? Really how? Just run, Leon! Just run! Just don't do the fucking half turn, you fucking idiot. Just run, just run away. That's all I ask. Just run. Just run, like, why do you gotta like, dude, he's like this, he's like. Like, just turn around, dude. Go run away. What are you fucking doing? Like, 
Like this run, dude. For love of fuck. Like, okay. He's still a rookie? I guess fucking so, dude. Doesn't know how to walk. Leon the fucking infant toddler. Nope, it doesn't. Too early. Just fall off the map and die, please. Can I just stand, like, at this range and just hope that I RNG my way into no arm attacks? Just parry everything. I'll just put my dick in his mouth. How about that? Just pray he doesn't do a grab for like a minute and a half. Oh, I gotta grab unlucky. Yo, bicyclops. Bicycle bicyclops, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Did you know you could duck the grab? Really? Because I pressed the duck button there and it didn't happen. That's crazy. Ducking grabs is a is like I fucking hate when people tell me to duck grabs. It's literally a non-functional mechanic. It just actually just doesn't work. Like you see that? I started ducking. It was too late. But I had to duck before he even does the attack or just duck the whole game. He grabs you, spam the knife button so he won't kill you. Yeah, and just waste one of my only three knives that I can't repair. Two knives, sorry. Well, three, I guess there's one in the arena. The grab still hurts you even if you knife out anyways, yeah. God, that uppercut is so hard. I always think he's going to do a front flip. Did you know you could duck the grab? Can't duck that though.
I sleep. I docked. You see? Flip it. I docked. Ducking animation started. I was mid duck. <clears throat> Good game. Fuck. Grab his dick and twist it. Well, I mean, the crowd fight is easy. Just, you know, have a knife that has durability. Yeah, I was able to duck it super consistently while fighting him during my no heal slash hang on run. Well, thank you, Miles Lamond. You're a fucking god. You should speedrun the game. World record for sure. What a legend. Congratulations, dude. He tracks you if you don't run. Um, actually, I don't know what you're talking about. I can duck it all the time. <laughs> duck emoji. Duck this load screen. I love the two-hit combo. Hit me harder, Krauser Daddy. I the uppercut is fucked. Dude, the uppercut. Fuck you, dude. It's my kryptonite, that uppercut. Oh, okay, that's kryptonite too. Not the boot knife, the herb! The herb! Thank you. Oh, 
No. No. I don't want to have to discard it, but I got it. Or I can't jump off. Ouch. I don't know why I didn't dodge that. That was my bad skill issue. I did the uppercut. I, I can't read it. I'm illiterate. I'm an illiterate fuck. I can't read the stream title nor this attack. Slower crouch animation because I'm hurt. I got this. I've leveled up. I've leveled up. Krauser's got he's got no chance. Oh the uppercut! <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I hate it. The uppercut, dude. I don't know, like maybe I'm just actually slow. I don't care. I feel like it's because the uppercut comes out so slow that I don't I can't react to it, you know? Like, I'm expecting it to come out way faster, so I always parry early. Shit, that ain't Falco. And here I thought that I sucked at Krauser. Yeah, I'm pretty bad. I mean, to be fair, I haven't streamed for like 12 hours. I ducked. You ducked so early, dude. You kindly never do the fucking uppercut again. Just remove it from your move list. The backhand. Yeah, I don't know how to lead the, read that lunar R. I'm sorry. Trying to kill him perfect or something? I'm trying to kill him without wanting to kill myself in Minecraft. It's so hard to get those time. Like, I feel like it's timed differently each time. I don't know. It's weird. 
Maybe it's because the parry takes a little bit to come out or something. I don't know. Okay. Like, why can't I just open the inventory? There's like a whole second delay before I can open the inventory. Just let me open the inventory, dude. I need to practice it for tomorrow anyways, with a knife only. Okay, dude. Like, come the fuck on. You can't QTE dodge when you have the knife out. So like if I go for a second one there, then I'm fucked. Love command grabs. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> bitch, the fake out. You thought mine not broke. I'm fucking working them this time. Oh, I had to say something. I had to say something with my big mouth, huh? God damn it. Dude, how much health do you have? How many times have I knifed you, dude? This is on standard. And I've died like 600,000 times. I do the quick knife jab like that, you hold space and then press left click.
Oh, I thought that was a fucking... How? I was not even close to the edge. That was not the right move to do that. Here I am. I'm sure you're wondering how I got here. This is how I'm gonna reach your hands, man. That's good to know, actually. Just, like, knock him down or something. Ducking works? It does, but you have to do it super early because it's really unresponsive. First try. I mean, I feel like I at least got better at the fight. I didn't just beat it out of luck or something. Well, I don't need this knife anymore. It's useless. You've served me well. I bet you I was like insanely close to killing him a bunch of times there. But unfortunately that's gonna be where we stop for today. So right now what we're doing is we're doing uh We're doing no merchant new game. We're almost at the end. We're on chapter 15, so. Am I ready for the game? It's a 9 out of 10. Sub Same Say Mark, I mean. I'm gonna say, brother. Doing great. How are you? Nice beef jerky. How'd you like it? There's no more generators left, right? I think I can get rid of scope. Grab those resources. What's up, Slimdiller? Howdy. No shot is knife and grenade only? Yeah, that's the idea. So like, after we finish No Merchant, we're gonna do zero shot. And then after that, we'll start doing speedrun running. So good evil Sam, good evil slam rather. Thanks for good luck. What's up, pumping traps? Howdy. Oh, the skip. Yeah, wrecking ball room. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Did we not already? No, we already did it, right? This is chapter 15. Then we already do Wrecking Ball Room scope? Yeah, we must have, because that's chapter 13, I think. Or chapter 14. No, I haven't. Pineapple Mercer. Yeah, we already did that, so we don't need the scope, but I got a different roll. I got sniper ammo this time, so. I've been keeping up with the speedrunning in this game. How's that going? Good. People are starting to do their first runs today. Hopefully, I'll start my first runs tomorrow. The riot gun is really good. Way better than it is in the original, that's for sure. What's up, Paul? Howdy. 
Yeah, that's some good stuff. I did. I feel like I don't need the sniper scope, but like it might be useful. Not again. What's up, Shadow? What do you need? This game comes. I come when I play this game. Sorry, Pistol, the best gun in the game, no contest. It is definitely the best gun in the game. 100, dude. So good. All right, Mike, I'm gonna need you to do some work here. Thank you, sir. Have the Trigger Charm for the movement speed? Nah. You're only gonna use that in the game plus anyways. Was Red Nine Riot Gun, Singer TMP. Yeah, that's what I did for my first playthrough, basically. And then I, the second playthrough, I did a uh, assault rifle, default pistol, riot gun. Dude, that was sick. I thought I was hiding. I was not. Got blast. Am I interested in an RE5 remake? I'm down for as much content as Capcom's willing to give me. I'll take it all. I have no idea how this works, but I have heard that it works. You can apparently kill this thing with grenades. Oh shit. That's sick. That is huge. Oh, 
Peter and Strat for sure. That's huge. It took, uh, I wonder how many of those nades actually hit. I think only two of them hit. They suggested for a professional new game run? Not really. I'm trying to get the cat ears. I just took it really slow and just had fun. I'm sure there'll be like a bunch of strats in a couple days. Dowling gun definitely move. Being able to use it on them is so nice. Dude, the archers. Please. I don't think I'll fuck yourself. Did I'll skip real? Yeah, but you can't do it on new game. Only new game plus. What's up, Shadow? How you doing, dude? Doing a deathless no save pro run. I got to Ashley in an hour and 32 with a max shot handgun. Got stunlocked, out of heals, and died, Sag. Better luck next time. Oh, it has ammo. I had no idea that the turrets could run out of ammo. What's up, Smith? It's going good. How are you doing? Is RPG worth buying for bosses in the remake? I think that, I mean, definitely for Sal Sadler, 100% it's worth it. Um, for Verdugo, it's probably worth it as well. At least on, on Pro, that's probably the two things you'll rocket. I don't, I don't see you being able to buy more than two rockets and having it actually be worth doing just because they're so expensive. And I proved uh, to work at a place I got interviewed. Let's go, Smith. Congrats on the job. Yeah, I did, Shinido. 
I'm uploading those today. The the videos. From that playthrough. So my pro, my pro playthrough. Salazar, you can kill pretty fast even on pro, it seems like, without... Even without a fucking, uh... What's it called? Without a rocket. Yeah, I've been, I've been watching people do stuff. I was just watching Trance, Orch, and Ray earlier today. Only one more cancer room left. Final boss, basically. You parry crawlers grab. You can duck it if you see it coming like way ahead of time. But no, you cannot parry it. The best try is to just keep enough distance so that you're able to duck. You kind of want to see like a medium distance from them. At least that's what I noticed. Like not too close, not too far. So that way you can like read his attacks well enough to dodge or parry, but not so close that you're just completely fucked if he does a bad attack. Like the bitch slap, there's nothing you can do. You can't duck that or parry it, so you need to be far enough away that you don't get bitch slapped. Guessing zero shots, knife only, but using grenades and flashes? Yeah, exactly. I think you should be able to legitimately now you shoot a gun the whole time. Oh, I did not see you. As pro, it's fun. It's a lot harder. But it's fun. Yeah, Novi's are, are way more fun, for sure. Way more fun. I want to see if I can maybe run through this room. Wasn't even close to me. I, I, did, I did not even see him. Hey, Mortal Walker. How do you deal with the regenerators? You use the scope. Delby's legit, legit stealth. Did I do the enemies do teleport? I swear to god, it's true. If you have Ashley, especially. Ashley is the big one. What's up, Varian? You didn't do.
inventory space is an issue. the CQB over the semi-auto? I don't know. I mean, the nice thing about the CQB is it gives you an extra 20 volts when you pick it up. That's like the biggest upside to it, really. And it's got like crazy DPS for bosses. Oh, and it's free, obviously. That's pretty huge. Definitely the biggest factor is that it's free. This room is not that bad to run past the standard, at least. Ow. He says this, he instantly gets it. I do want that for savage. Oh, through the window? Bro, you savage. Yo. Talk to again. Thank you so much for the primer. Appreciate that. I have not checked on Mortal Walker. I don't want to check because if I check and I'm in, then I'm going to want to play it and I want to play RE4 instead. And no grabbers. Fog. That goes the run. Pretty good. Krauser was the hardest part for sure so far because I had to save my knife all the way there, which sucked. But it's not that bad. Castle was... Castle was rough. Like mid castle was pretty bad. Like before I had the CQB rifle, all I had was like the red nine and the shotgun and with no ano. Like new 5-4 is less cancer for sure. Yeah, a lot less cancer. Yeah, water hall with the red nine, dude. I, I, ran, I legit ran out of ammo and had to throw nades at people. What do you mean save your knife? Well, and no merchant can't repair your knife. So I had to not use my knife the whole game until I got the Krauser. How long is this walking sim part? Too long. So I used like half of my knife on Gigante and then I didn't use it again until then. Basically. Rather this than Bulldozer? Yeah, true. Yeah, if you don't have the Sniper for Waterhall, it's so much harder. Actually so hard. What's up, Big Snake? What are you gonna do? What's up, Copper Line? Yeah, I know, Shadow. Uh, you're not going to use those in any speed run unless it's New Game Plus. Salazar and Big Cheese in the game? Yep. Yeah, Mike dies. It's so sad. I just finished a run with only a pistol and knife, and I never want to see the red nine again. Bloom moment certified. Certified bloom moment. Our series mode comes in like two weeks, I think. You're in love with the red nine? It's great for damage, and then, you know, you try to kill something that's more than 10 feet away from you, and it's just completely RNG if you hit them or not.
The Bolton are already good. It's going to be really useful in the speedrun, I think, but I haven't used it in any of my casual playthroughs. Magnum's kind of pistols. Nope. Waifu, why is the game in Japanese? Because the English voice acting is awful. And actually, it's very kawaii desu in Japanese. Is the Red Knight good with the stock? No bloom? Nope, there's still bloom with the stock. XD. I mean, it's good. It's definitely better, but... Still bloom city. I think I could get used to all of the English VAs except for Ada. Yeah, hers is definitely the worst performance. By far. Krauser's grows on me like in late game. But early game is not that good. Alright, Sadler time. All that's left is Sadler. R. Have a lot of sniper rounds, which is good. Decent amount of shotgun. Go for that knife instead. What's up, Dathani? You think this game is as good as the OG? No. I think for most people, they'll enjoy this more than the OG, but... If you like... Are interested in like high level play and stuff, it's not as good as the OG. I don't know how to dodge that. First time I've finished the game, this is about to be my third.
I don't know what you're supposed to do about the charge, honestly. Draw me a heal, please. Oh, I have a first aid. Oh. I can't get through the corner, it sucks. First try, let's go. I wanted to test something. I'm pretty sure that this section's on a timer. I've been told that it's on a timer, but it's sped up if you do more damage. But I'm curious how long it takes if you just don't do anything. Because my thought was like, for New Game Pro, like you could squeeze out extra money if you just use a rocket on the first phase. But then on the second phase, you just wait out the special rocket. But, cause like, I, you know, what you would do probably is sell everything, buy a rocket, use it on the first phase, and then special rocket the second phase. Let's see. Yeah, it is on a timer. I wonder if it is actually faster if you shoot bullets. That merchant really wasn't that bad. I thought it was the same. Yeah, I thought so too. He showed up way faster for you because you were unloading on him. Yeah? Okay, maybe not then. You were much braver for finishing this scary game. Thank you. It. I don't know if like it just depends on the money route though right like if you have enough money to not sell all of your weapons to buy a rocket then you could save like one or two and then just shoot at the end there It just keeps definitely a lot harder.
I don't know if you can keep the special rocket here like the OG. I don't know either. I haven't tried. I would imagine so. Escape is definitely a little more epic. I always forget this a ramp. What's up, Colossus? What's up, Kim? Life only now? Yeah, zero shot now. Time for zero shot. ガードを続ける気はない。もちろんあなたさえ良ければなんだけど。必要ないさ。もう自分を守れるだろ。ナイフの使い方はいまいちだけどね。さあ。宇宙へ帰ろう。やっ。そう。顔は少しでバレるカ